हेलो 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 वेलकम एवरीवन टू एपिसोड 23 ऑफ डॉक्टर चेस दिस इज सागर शाह एंड दिस इज योर वीडियो वेयर यू कैन यू नो जॉइन मी गेट योर चेस क्वेरीज सॉर्टेड एंड बिकम अ स्ट्रॉगर चेस प्लेयर बट बिफोर वी गेट गोइंग हियर्स द इंट्रो always makes everyone smile uh, and thanks prakhar for making this so guys uh, dr chess is a session where you can come and interact with me uh, ask me your chess queries and get better at chess we call it the dr chess because just like how a doctor tries to solve the illnesses of patient or some problems that a patient have same way i would try to solve your chess problems uh and because chess base india recently hit 600k i'm going to do doctor chess for 6 days at a stretch from 7 to 9 in the morning today is the second day of it and i'm very excited to see who's in the queue uh, so the way you become a part of this is to go on chess base india's discord here on the left you have the doctor chess room and we already have someone uh in the room uh, although i i would really uh, request all of you to be in this appointment lobby not in the room itself because the appointment lobby is where uh, people you know name turns up here so anant arya kartik narula and so on so let's let's begin though is someone already in the room and let's see if we can hear him hello 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 hi Shashank Hey uh, Sagar Can you switch on your camera Yeah yeah one second I also need to turn on my lights Uh okay Hello How are you Shashank doing I am doing good sir how are you very well very well uh, in fact shashank and i have exchanged many mails uh, in the past and uh, it's good to see you in person finally uh, so shashank yeah, nice. um, you you are what do you do just can you tell us and uh, tell us a bit about your chess yes i can uh, although sir i can't see you uh, you uh, you can't uh, see me uh, i'll share my screen at some point Okay, okay, got it, got it, got it, got it. Yeah, so I am, uh, I'm a PhD uh, student at uh, in California here in uh, Santa Barbara. I'm uh, studying uh, music technology, and my research is based on uh, surround sound and 3D audio. And regarding chess, I actually started at the age of four, and I used to play quite regularly till the age of seven or eight, and then I just completely gave up. Um. i guess and i just lost interest i guess and uh, over the last one year or so i've just uh, started playing again casually okay okay so uh, and i think you have been following a lot of streams uh, whenever time has permitted you so so how can i help you to get better at chess i actually picked out a few uh, games that i have played online and uh, i thought i'll share them with you i have the pgns how can i yeah can you send it on discord how do i send files on discord i've never uh, done this i'll before. i'll send you a hi uh, on discord and you can send it to me there you can attach it here okay yeah got it uh Okay, while Shashank sends us. I also had one. I also had one more game which was on play chess, and I could not. Um, for some reason, I couldn't download the game. Like I couldn't find a way to download the game. That was against Vibhav actually in the 
comedian's room. I don't know if you can pick that out. Ah, but uh, did we analyze that in the session, or how was it? Not too much. Okay. And I had like specific kind of questions uh, with that game actually. I can. I'll see if I can find that in my database. Those are the kind of problems that I have. Okay. So let's first check this game which you have sent me. Oh, there are there are three rooms. Okay. Quickly. Fine. We can just do um as many. I just picked out a couple of them. And uh, here one. Okay. And. Uh, let's go here i'll i'll share my screen and you can do uh, start streaming or uh, there's an option there which you can click on so you can see my screen oh, okay uh, where is that at the bottom uh, there is this watch watch stream yeah, watch yeah, stream yeah, yeah. just a second uh, yeah, so there you have it just make sure you are on the screen okay so here here's the first game that you have sent and you are black here you can see my screen yes yeah, yeah. c4 g6 e3 bg7 nf3 d5 knight c3 so uh, and you played knight to e4 but this is hanging yes oh uh, yeah i realized that uh, a second late yeah so this is something which uh, generally i i feel that before making any move uh, if you just see what is hanging that would be very good uh, but yeah this <clears throat> he didn't punish this and then you took bishop takes c5 so you said you had some specific questions on this game or uh, should we go through this entire uh, in this i mean basically the main problem was here okay the game continued and then towards the end game like you know i think it ended up being double bishop versus uh, bishop and knight yeah and those kind of issues is where i i somehow we keep maneuvering and then like i will eventually blunder and um like i don't know how if there's a thing that i should kind of follow to try and okay in such a game so by the way i like this move by you uh, and already you are have a nice position there's some pressure here on the d4 pawn he goes bishop c4 you played queen to f5 rook e1 okay and e5 hmm why why did you decide to play e5 here um well e the e pawn was like already like you know it's backward and then like you know the, i had to either play rook e8 or i had to kind of do something about it so i was like anyway i have good control over e5 so why not just push it okay let's let's try to understand this position and let's try to think what shall we do here i'm not saying e5 might be a bad move uh, because if you see the position you got here uh i mean i i'm i'm just wondering what was your idea if i took here um I... because now you, you're losing a piece right you have to take this otherwise you just yes. piece piece down yes 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 so you yeah, take I this i thought i'll take the i'll take the you take knight, this. and then if he takes mine uh, i take his queen and now uh, and then... try to calculate what will white do also in the chat guys what will you do I'm assuming he bishop f7 uh bishop f7 yeah maybe that is a way to proceed i was also thinking uh rook f7 okay because now after rook f7 you go rook d1 and i think you're just uh, worse in this position you are a pawn down 
bishop f7 and rook d7 and you might lose another pawn so it's already a very difficult position i'm threatening rook d7 and uh, it might not be easy so definitely e5 now uh, you understand is not a great move so let's try to think when opponent has an isolated pawn uh, what what should you try to do should you try to exchange that pawn or should you try to blockade that pawn perhaps block blockade it and then attack it like huh? yeah so how how would you continue is No, maybe e6 with like you know yes keep in uh, mind that maybe we can do knight knight e7 and followed by knight uh, exactly i mean e5. this should this this looks like a good plan also just mm -hmm. putting pressure here with e6 uh, already it's getting unbearable with three pieces so i would start off with taking here take 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 and now just go e6 <clears throat> I would not even try to win this pawn. I don't know if this is good, but okay, this also looks, by the way, very tempting because I take uh, and there is a big threat here on f3. So you must take, I take, and then I attack your rook. Next move, I'm playing uh, fe5. But you know, I reach an opposite color bishop endgame uh, where he goes f4 and tries to liquidate some pieces. I'm pawn up, but unnecessarily we get into this so i would i would rather play e6 here and be very very happy with my position you know you can see the upgrade like your pieces are just tremendous here so when you played e5 and take take and you reached here and he exchanged now now this is interesting because you have uh, the bishop pair take rookie one take take from this position onwards is where i was like okay how do i actually proceed and okay I... so the first question is why did you play f5 um honestly i don't know i just like i think i just couldn't find any other move that i you know try to think like i could put some pressure try to think what would you do here now with Maybe just yeah. The other idea I had was uh, I don't know maybe G King G seven or push the other uh, queen side pawns. Yes. Yeah, so so one like, thing is you, know, you do not know where what to push right now. Okay. Like for example, B five just hangs a pawn uh, to the bishop. Mm -hmm. A five maybe it's a good move, but you may not really want to uh, decide your pawn structure. Besides. You have a very small edge right now of the bishop pair. So the most logical thing is to bring in your worst placed piece. And I would go king f8 and get my king here. Who knows, maybe the king goes on this journey here to uh, attack these pawns. Mm -hmm. So king, whenever you are playing an endgame, the first priority should be to get your, to activate your king. If your pieces are active already. Because f5 is such a move where your bishop gets kind of blocked. I mean, I would have been okay if you put your bishop here and then played f5. Because, uh, let's say f5, if I play f3 now, which he did, and h3, you're already facing some problems with your bishop. And, and the thing is that here you're losing a pawn. I don't know why he did not take it. Are you there, Shashank? Yeah, 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 I'm there. So, so it's very necessary for you here to kind of have harmony in your pieces in end games, mm -hmm. and that is where and time is maybe not the most important thing here. It's more important to activate your pieces. So, f5, h3, uh, maybe f4 was a better move here, just to kind of block this and you don't lose a pawn 
g4 he took took bishop f7 bishop c4 and now actually this 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 can work out well for you if let's say you take okay see again why b6 um, what would you play here think king, king f7 yes exactly very good so you activate your king and the most important thing is that if your bishop is dark square you would want to keep your pawns on the opposite color of your bishop generally so b6 also flouts that principle b6 knight d3 check king g2 and see this this uh, what what are you doing here he's yeah, coming I mean, here i guess i just wanted to yeah i, I guess i just wanted to protect the uh, g5 pawn but is it hanging it's not but <laughs> so this maybe in the like you know yeah of course i mean this the biggest thing that you can take away from this game is activate your king in the end game that, that's very critical now that's a good move but you see you are you are a bit too late his king got in the uh, the space his king got in and that is the reason why you lost this game and and what you did also is you placed all your pawns on dark squares so your bishop now is passive and it also means all his pawns are on light squares which means your bishop can never attack any of them you know so this end game already very difficult he should have i think played king d5 or king f5 but you went he went knight e5 king d6 knight f7 okay king c5 king d3 i think both of us were under like quite a lot of uh game stress at this time but you know uh, this race kind of so so why what i have uh, i try to say is keep control in the end game here white is in control but when white did this he suddenly lost control now it's a race and now here anything can happen so he played this you played a5 he took and now yeah you had less time so uh, it's easy to uh, you know it's not so simple to uh, suggest that oh you should have done this or that because you had very little time but here or here where do you um, put your king i was thinking uh b3 yes why uh so that like you can block the uh, king yes exactly to the shouldering yeah the king it cannot now come here so when you played king b4 knight e4 a4 he could he even knight c3 here okay uh, which is fine but he could also have done just king c2 a3 and king b1 and then the king or oh, maybe this was just too slow i think he should have started off um uh, with king c2 but no it's it's not so bad i mean in general i would say king b3 is just more does everything that king b4 does and blocks the white king but king b4 might not be so bad so okay a4 g5 a3 knight c3 okay and and you had to waste one tempo here which is very important in this end game and yeah now and then this was just a blunder like that i yeah, yeah i should have brought my bishop in and then i came. but it's not uh, like how would you do it like for example here you played a4 knight c3 or i should have brought the bishop to c5 I yeah bishop the, c5 uh, bishop f8 but uh, i don't know if you can hold this position it says i mean the computer says it's a 0.00, .00. ah okay but uh, you know it might be a very sort of a narrow path to draw let's say if you can hold this actually, the computer was saying that i was better here if i played bishop c5 computer was saying actually i was better yeah it depends on which computer like if i use my computer here uh, let's say the strong engine you it, you win after king b3 yeah h5 but then see, I just you, have to bring to bishop b. You have to play very carefully, yeah, like yeah. here. Then you need to stop the pawns, and then your this his knight cannot move. You are threatening this. If he tries to wait with his king, you can pin his knight. It's it's kind of complex, but it also shows the power of the bishop. The bishop 
can uh, you know do multiple things at the same time like hold back the pawns oops sorry uh, so g6 that was wrong yeah but bishop c5 so hold back these pawns here and also kind of pin the knight at some point with bishop b4 and so on but maybe g6 is the correct uh, way to go king c2 king c4 yeah it's not simple it's a, it's a very complicated end game but i think what you take back from this game shashank is that it's very important for you to activate your pieces and mainly your king let's look at one more game uh, and see what what you did and also uh, not to rush in like when you have some positional advantage like you had at this point try not to make a move like e5 you know you could you could just go take 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 and e6 and i like your position okay so this is your game with james knight uh, and uh, this was in the mods on uh, board tournament okay so you are playing with the white pieces let's try to see queen d5 knight c3 queen d8 d4 very good development knight f3 bishop f5 bishop c4 e6 castling h6 rook e1 all logical bishop f4 knight f6 and now knight e2 so what's your idea with knight e2 i just wanted to bring the knight to the king's king side and then just like build like basically get every piece towards the king side because he's going to can castle king side also yeah so that was just the idea okay let's let's try to think if that is the best thing you can do here or is there something else what else can you think of that, because this looks slightly like even if the knight comes here and i drop my bishop what is the knight doing here it can't go here it can't go here it can't go here so perhaps it it may not be the best square for the knight don't see any other like forcing move or something like i only other thing i can say maybe play a4 or something just like uh, gain some space okay a4 is not a bad idea and i think it's a very interesting move because you want to play a5 a6 try to gain some space create some weaknesses your pieces are active so it's a very good idea what else can we think of i think it's very important when all your pieces are developed to think of ways in which you can improve your position carefully actually i spent quite a lot of time here it was already a 5 plus 3 game and this is the period where i was like okay what do i do like i need to have all my pieces are there and i need to develop and like uh, rather i need to kind of come up with a plan to attack and that's the only plan that i thought okay get everything to the king side yeah guys in the chat also can think about what to do here i i feel uh, i i there's one move which seems better than others uh, for me and that is you know if you see his king is still in the center and you the your bishop is looking at these slightly weakened spots so maybe we can try and take some advantage of it uh, yes thadani mitesh satyam ja i like this riya george 95 five yeah that's the i i like this move i mean it's just uh, keep some pressure here maybe if if uh, next move he goes knight d7 or something you can move your queen to e2 and then get your rook to d1 and who knows maybe your knight will be very useful here already jumping to e4 after something gets exchanged off like for for example let's say knight d7 i go queen e2 and rook d1 is coming up next if he takes you take and then maybe knight will jump here next so you saved a lot of time mm -hmm. so uh, at at the right moment it's very important to know how to put your pieces 
here knight g3 and now what do you do about your knight okay you went 90 uh, 95 which is which is good bishop h7 and knight h5 okay you uh, you managed to get a role for the knight he played knight d7 you took okay queen takes a bishop e5 Yeah, this this entire plan of moving your knight and now uh, bishop e5, I'm not so sure because he took, took, and now maybe he could have just taken this pawn, right? Yeah. And and the thing is, if you go here, he just goes back, and it's it may not be so so easy for you to attack. So, bishop g6 by him, queen g4. Queen d8 and bd3. Then actually, at this time, I noticed that uh, c2 was hanging, so, so I brought my. Yeah, you brought your bishop back. You played bishop f6. Yeah, this this is actually not a not a simple position here. Uh, and to f find the the best move for black. Because here is a mate that you are threatening. The bishop is blocking it, but h5. Just one queen, queen g3. Yeah, and then maybe bishop h4. And I, I'll uh, get you out of that file and then I'll take here. When I'll be a clean pawn up, you know, maybe g6, then bishop f6. Exchange it. So he played bishop f6. And uh, this is already a blunder by him. Yeah, oh, I felt I was better here. Oh, why why did you take here. here? I was very low on, like I was already less than a minute and I think uh, Sujit already had like some three and a half minutes. So I was like, okay, I need to do something. Yeah, but you uh, know, the, uh, Shashank, if time is always going to be an issue, then it's very difficult to solve your existing problems what you have and i can clearly sense that a few problems from from your game is uh, you you miss certain moves because you have less time like if you if you see in the previous game as well uh, you missed that at some point you could take uh, you know like we can go back like your bishop takes f5 pawn was hanging so the, so when you are playing with less time you're missing like for example here bishop takes g6 Pawn takes and queen takes e6 is a free pawn. Mm -hmm. So you really yeah, need to just a one move later. Yes, but you really need as soon to. As I think Bishop F6 has spotted it. Do you think if you had more time, you would have spotted it? Maybe because I did that. I played that. That's what. That's the sequence actually I followed. Now. Yes, but the Let problem is that if you take take this is much different now with the queen here. It's attacking f2. And even if you get this, this is way different than uh, keeping this here and winning this. You know, your queens are not getting exchanged. Or I would even prefer, maybe, what about this move here? Queen takes g6. I don't know if prefer is a, is the word, but if he takes here, I can take here, check and then win this. So, I'll be two pawns up. And this is weak. So... This is already not great, but okay. C3, rook here, rook here. Okay, again, this is a nice end game for you. F3, nice move. H5. Yes, uh, okay, exchanging a rook. That's good. Why G4? That was like it was like I just couldn't like again. It was under quite a lot of time pressure, and I just couldn't come up with any other move. Yeah, but. Let's say now, and with, it was horrible. As soon as I played it, I was like, "Oh shit!" The F three pawn is hanging. Yeah, with new knowledge now, what do you do? Uh, now I thought I would. I mean, and I analyzed it after that. I thought I could have exchanged one, uh, one pair of rooks here. Okay, take, take, and then I don't know, King F two. Yeah, I'm just worried. Of, I would re this is the right move in spirit. You want to get your king, but g4 is somehow, you know, 
a move yeah. that I would look at. It's liquidating a few pawns. So maybe start off with rookie five, hitting here, mm -hmm. and then uh, I would say that you have great chances because take take take. You are two pawns up now, or you could do something else like maybe you can do this this and h4, and then get your rook here to attack these two pawns. So there are many ways in which you can play good chess. But first of all, you need to play better time controls for yourself. Uh, you and you need to before making any move see if any of your pieces are hanging or if any of opponent's pieces are hanging. This might look like a very beginner's advice, but in your games, you will see that this happens and you need to fix it. You cannot let something which is hanging not be taken and something for you which you can win not uh, be taken by you. The second thing is that in end games, very important is activity to bring all your pieces together. So here, uh, even here, if we just see, take take a five. He did he did not uh, take this. So you get, got your king here, but maybe better was to take on f seven and then put your king here. Get get your pieces towards the center. You know, and and harmony is important. I think. Uh, yeah, now he finally took and this is actually very dangerous position. And you will see that what has happened is that here, this is cut off your king. You have cut his king off, but your last move is like rook b6 doesn't make much sense, right? Because his king is going to come in. But if you play this. Now you need to follow up with a with an important move. Like if you if you did this, otherwise you can keep it cut off. But once you play rook b6, here it's very important to play d5. Yeah. So that you can you know start to attack these pawns. P4, take take, king e7, king g3, king d7, d5. Okay, that's nice. And and why didn't you take this? Uh, I think I was playing in like some 20 seconds at this time. So it's like whatever move I was seeing. I was yeah, but like this, this, might, this might not be good for you because they king g3, uh, uh, a king f3, king d5, king here, king here. And yeah, this, I think you should, you should win this. Mm -hmm. This pawn end game. I felt I was winning and then I just couldn't figure out how to... Uh, convert. Yeah, this. Let's try to calculate. I had to push C4. I saw, yeah, I let, saw that let's I calculate. Let's calculate. C4 takes, takes, king f4, b5, king g4. Then I just push b6, the b pawn and, and there's king, no way he can like stop me. King f3, b7, g4, b8, queen, g3. So you he's two squares away from Queenie. Yeah. And yeah, you drew here, but you could have won this with this way. So now there are a few things like play long time control games. Uh, make sure you ask yourself before every move, what is my opponent's threat? Uh, what does he want to do? What is hanging in my position? What can I take off my opponent's pieces? And in the end game, try to activate your pieces. And as a musician, you know how important harmony is. So don't make moves which spoil the harmony in your game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like if pieces are all harmoniously posted, you need to try to figure out a way to keep them, you know, like towards the center, not make moves which are sort of aesthetically not good. I think general your general chess understanding is good. It's just that the effort needs to be made on board and you need to start calculating more. Do you solve chess positions? Like whatever you put up on the screen, like, you know. Yeah, yeah. But gen like if you can solve more positions, like maybe you can uh, go to chess base account, solve positions there. Uh, if you have there, there are on other platforms as well, positions to solve. If you can do that. It will be very useful. Your brain will be working 
during the game and calculation is very important. Uh, Sagar, if you can pull up that the game against Vibhav, and like you know, and this is another problem that I know that I have because a lot of times I fall into it, and then I lose a winning position. Um, I'm not so, sure if I can know, find I can it, but it let's. Up. What's your ID on chess? Uh, play chess. Uh, it's it's Shashank Ashwatanji. Like I can show you. Uh, like I have the thing open. The account is open, but I there's no way to pull up the games. Like I will just send you a message if you want on the. Maybe what you can do is you can if if possible send me that game on email, and I can check that out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, that's the problem. I'm not able to find the the PGA and. You can, you can take a screenshot. Like see the game. You can take a screenshot, or you can. Uh, yeah, you can take a screenshot, and I can I can uh, help you. Of the most. Uh, no, even for the screenshot, like I don't even like the board or nothing of the thing comes up. Like where is your I game? I'm not able to see the game at all. It's on play chess. Like, I played it on play chess. Like I just sent you the the account. And, uh, but I can't download it. Play chess is is one okay. place where you can't. Uh, I cannot download the games. Okay. okay. So it's like your okay. games are for you. Let me see. Uh, how do we download the games? Um, second. Shashank. Maybe this is the one. Yeah, I played only like four games. So it must be the game against Vibhav is the one that I had. Okay, so this is the one you are playing with black. Bishop c4, e6, bishop e7, d4, passes. Uh, generally, you take here. Hmm? And uh, maybe castle here. Or here, there's a tactic immediately with queen b6. See, I, I generally find uh, that in from whatever games I have seen, that you need to improve your tactical sharpness. And this cannot, and this is a very common thing for someone who spends time improving his chess knowledge by watching streams and all, but does not spend much time on actually practicing that thing. So I would really recommend you to solve a lot of positions so that these moments here, you can instantly feel, oh, there's this pin here. The king is open yet pushed F4. I can quickly get here. So castles, d5 takes, knight takes, and now you took the pawn, he took here, knight takes, so you are a pawn up, queen d3, and now d5, good move, rook d1, okay, bishop e6, and f5. I believe this was a mistake. Yeah, this, this is a mistake. I'm, I'm just thinking, uh, at this point, you know, did you consider taking this bishop? Because this is hanging and this is hanging. These two are the moves that I would consider. One is bishop f5. The other one is d takes c4. And I would calculate. Now the thing is that the queen is attacked. He cannot take here because d1 is hanging. So he must take here. You take. He Again, rook is hanging. You take. You do this. And this is a checkmate here. So do you see that it's a very uh, important position to calculate. And you are not calculating. Mm -hmm. So this is something which uh, you have to do. Bishop f5 takes. Now knight f6 was played, which is fine. He played queen c4. Yeah, I he thought I was winning a piece here because the bishop is like uh, over attacked. Yes, but again, tactics in chess, checks, captures, threats. Bishop takes f7 was possible, right, for him. Because now, uh, if 
if you take with the rook then your queen is hanging if you take with the king then what does he play i guess he can play knight um, e5 or knight e5 yeah but then you just go back maybe knight e5 it's not a, such a stupid move knight e5 king here check but then he can block with then this knight check. Yeah. it's very important because if you go king here you may lose the queen so mm -hmm. even here he can block with this so maybe black is doing fine in these positions queen c4 you took bishop g5 f6 okay bishop here yeah so at this point sagar so at this very point i saw that uh, knight d3 uh, forks the um, queen and the rook and i just kept trying to play that yeah but this and is just in that yeah no which is why i moved the king and then i tried to play uh, g5 like you know i wanted to make that work and in that like this and this is something that i always uh, kind of have a problem with like i would see some fork or some double attack and then i try to move my pieces towards that and like that i kind of lose control of the position okay shashank uh, generally like i i want to ask you like uh, was this your plan always to go to the us and do music and all uh not us in specifically why but, did you go uh, to the yeah. us then just wherever i like you know i went to good like i wanted to go to a good place so good uh, school so you were flexible so right even in europe if you had gotten somewhere else you would have done that this was the best opportunity at that point mm -hmm. and it's very similar on the chess board you should not be um, kind of attracted to one possibility like okay 93 is great but it's not working fine there is a pin here so i can move my king away but you should not get attached to one idea that oh this is a fork it's a very juicy one i need to do something about it so when you go g5 bg3 king h8 and when he plays rook here you suddenly like oh but i just weakened my position for no reason so instead of and this then i just went downhill yeah you you can just play king h8 and and good ideas are there in every position here you are a piece up so all you have to do is just keep control mm -hmm. and you will be better so it's very important for you to understand that uh, don't get attached to ideas that okay this is good here fine if this does not work i'll look at something else okay so shashank this is something that you need to do very seriously and this should solve mo most of your problems is to solve at least 10 to 20 positions every day uh, from somewhere you know there are so many online resources available and make your brain think calculate so i'm like i i always calculate like for example uh, if they get any position king h8 rook e1 i'll start calculating for for example what happens knight b6 queen takes c5 this is hanging this is hanging what should i do next okay maybe rook e8 he has rook e7 rook e7 queen f5 what what am i trying to do i'm just trying to make my brain work this is something which you need to start doing and you will have to train it every single day so if you are even if you have some time please use it in this if you want to get better at chess of course if you want to enjoy chess and just keep having fun then you can do other things as well watching streams is not bad at all it's it's a good thing but uh, the thing is that it's a passive form of learning you it's in your hands to make it active or not okay so shashank uh, take care and uh, i look forward to your progress uh, how it's going sure thanks a lot bye 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 oops yeah guys that was shashank uh, 
uh, and let's go to the second one. Peter Cavanaugh says there are plenty of resources for puzzles online, but can you recommend some good books, resources for studies? Uh, Peter, I would say one beautiful book is by Irving Sharnev on Endgame Magic. I believe that's the name of the entire series. Uh, it's a book with beautiful studies which are not very tough. Just every page there is one study. And I think for someone taking first steps in studies, that is a good one. Okay, let's go to the next one. Who is it? Anant. Okay. Let's get Anant here. Hello, Anant. Uh, yes, sir. Hi, how are you? Good morning, sir. I'm good. Okay, let me guess how old you are. You are 22. Yes, no, sir. No? No, sir. Okay. But you are around it. Yeah, I'm, I'm close, Please, you know. Very close, but yeah. 20. No. Mm -hmm. Okay, can you switch on your camera? Yeah, I'm doing that just a second. Uh, am I visible, sir? Yes. You are 19. Okay. Uh, I'm 17. 17. Okay, where and are you I from? Also, I'm from Bhopal and I have also come before also once to Dr. Chess. Really? Yeah, this is my second time. I, I don't recollect. What's your full name, Anand? Uh, actually, <clears throat> last time I came with another ID named Awesome. Uh, okay, you might not remember, but it was Dr. Chess 20. Ah, really? So it was so so recent. Yeah. Uh, yeah, actually, it has been quite few months. Yeah, it has been a month and a half or so. So, so tell me, how can I help you? Yeah, uh, I'm just uh, confused with like. Uh, what What was my prescription uh, last time to you? And did you? Okay, last time, uh, last time I uh, discussed with you the opening King's Indian uh, attack for white, and uh, you suggested me to. Uh, like I played it against Sicilian, so you suggested to go for open Sicilian, which I uh, am doing nowadays. And I'm preferring to play open Sicilian rather than playing King's Indian uh, attack against Sicilian defense. Okay. So okay. I uh, followed your advice. Uh, okay, so one thing I forgot. First of all, I would like to congratulate you for your 600k subs and uh, also you. your victory against COVID. So, yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. Uh... It's, it's just a milestone to celebrate. I think there's still a yeah. lot of, uh, there's a long way ahead. Okay, so, Obviously, yeah. so what, what can I do this time? How can I help you? Uh, this time uh, I am facing problem in uh, like seven of my games. I'm confused to uh, use like, if my pieces are more active, I'm not able to uh, make the best use of them still. And uh, also I uh, want to, uh, I want some advices from you in case I want to improve positional play like I want to improve it so and I have uh, brought my link of a game where I had uh, active pieces but I wasn't able to use them very fruitfully okay let's have a look can you send me the uh, game yes I'm just ready. Uh, uh, I sent you an hi some message? Yeah, yeah that would be yeah I got it. Just, just. Did you send? Uh, almost there. It's not. Uh, sorry to sorry for all this glitches. Just I'm no, no, it's okay. Fine. Guys in the chat, how are all of you doing? Uh, Chess Techie says I just reached twenty fifty rapid. Nice. Okay, well, this is not happening. Okay, 
all all the people who who are saying they are struggling at some point um in the middle game many of the times it's because of calculation we'll try to see even in anand's case what is his what are his issues here but as he says he's unable to uh, make good use of active pieces so we'll try to see why is that the case uh, sorry to receive it yes i want okay 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 let's go here and let's open this control v uh, can you see my screen uh, not yet sir. you have to click on watch stream yes i know so the but ah, okay the one second watch stream isn't there i'll do it now yeah now i can okay so this is your game you are playing with the white pieces you started with e4 d5 yes. takes yes. knight f6 knight c3 take okay it's all very standard there are many other ways to play yes, but sir, yes. i like oh, you took with the d pawn uh, i would yeah, prefer taking with this yeah yeah so you don't I, lose I'm your very, right to castle yeah. here which is not a which is not the end of the world uh, if you would have taken yes, it's a it's a fine position yes, but sir. I mean, why do you want to get into that? So B takes uh, yes. would have been better. He went knight c6. You took. All right. Very nice. Knight takes. Very cool. Developing with the tempo. C6. Now you played knight to f3. This is again fine. Bishop g4. Mm -hmm. Knight e5. Yeah. Bishop h5. G4. Okay. Interesting. Hmm. H4. Did you see that this was hanging? Uh, yeah, I missed it. Actually, I instantly saw it. As soon as I played H4, I saw it and then I thought I should have played knight g3 probably. Or, yeah, knight g3 or king d2 even seems. Think, think what else can you do instead of knight g6 you mean? You want to take this? Or I can, I can just, yeah, I can take the bishop also. Yeah, but, but... Your idea is great. You want to kind of corner this bishop. Yes, yes, yes. So, uh, okay. If I, okay, should I protect it with the rook or? Okay, so few questions. Then... King d2 is one move you suggested. Rook c1 is one yes. move you suggested. Think of something which is more cohesive, which is more kind of, you know, see this. How is this move? Tell me. Do do you like it? Yeah, is it, I is don't it... like it. That's why I suggested the last. Yeah, and also this move. Do you like your king being? These are the open files. Does the king yeah, should be on an open problem. file or which piece should be? Uh, rooks. Should yes. Be on the open files. So so if you think about it, what should come? How should you continue? Okay. Uh, bishop d three. Yeah, but. Again, uh, I, I would I would love to sort of trap this guy. Okay, yes, so I the first banner G, some other way. Elma Maestro, creative noob. Yeah, yeah. Do you know you can castle? Okay, so uh, bishop bishop b three. It's it's a better move. It's a better move than or than all. This is more. You see, your bishop stays here. It doesn't exchange. It defends this. But also b5 for future is not comes with a tempo. I agree. So yeah, but long castle also works. Long castle doesn't work. It's just amazing. It's the best move. Okay. You, you defend this, you get your rook. I mean, it's just yeah. the most perfect move. It's like love at first sight. Yeah, once you see this move, okay. you can't un unsee it. And it's it's the best. Yeah, that's so, true. So h4, he went to e6. Mm. And now you he, defended yeah. it, which is which is kind of a transposition. Okay, you played this. And now, let's see. Okay, come on. You have to... You can't be making this move. What should you play? Okay. Here, I should... Should I go for knight takes bishop? You tell me. Is this looking good? 
yeah he has double pawns next i can have ideas of uh, rook h1 with the attack on the isolated pawn yeah. and it can't be defended absolutely uh, with this is this is killing this yeah. this is a weakness what else is a weakness yeah. in this position a7 is weak. A7 is weak. A7 is weak. Is A7 weak? I'll tell not you anything. A7. A7. I, 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 this is my uh, trick of you know trying to trap everyone. Is A7, of course, G6. There are two pawns yeah. which are weak G6 and A7. Do you agree? No, sir. G6 and E6. Absolutely. These two are very weak. This is irrelevant right now for the time being. But these two are very weak and you can put pressure on them. So how how would you continue? Uh, I would go for g5. Yes, very nice. Fix this guy here. Then this you can start your attack with uh, sorry rook h1, or you can play bishop d3 later and start putting pressure here. Yes. So so let's think about it this way. Okay. Uh, for example, let's say I play bishop e7. Mm -hmm. How do you continue? I will go uh, rook h1. Okay, think now. Think rook h1. What will he okay, do? Okay, so uh, rook h1, king f7. Right. Then uh, probably rook d7. Very nice. So his bishop would be pinned now. And Do you now, think this way be... ever in your games, uh, Anand? Do you calculate? Yes. Or do you just play yes, on field? Yes, I do. Uh, so I calculate mostly once the opening is over. I uh, try to calculate as much as I can. Yeah. I won't say I calculate to my fullest strength, obviously, but uh, like some moves are also inst instinctive. But yeah, I I, I would say to try to calculate more. So for example, many times instinctively we will do this, okay, which is a yes. nice move. But if you have yes. time, look at his defense. There's only one way to defend this pawn, which is King F7. The other King option F7. could be that he tries to go rook f8 and attack here. So what happens is, yeah. there, it's one way to play. Let's say if today uh, there is a player, let's say Vidit. If yeah. he's playing this position, he will quickly mm -hmm. think rook h1, rook f8, bg3, everything is protected and let's go. Mm -hmm. What you will do yeah. is you will play rook h1, you may not see rook f8 and then when he plays this, the end result is the same. You have also played the same moves yeah. that he has played, but he had already anticipated that this can happen. Yeah, so, so I want uh, you to reach that stage where you consider your opponent's possibilities before making moves. Hmm. Okay, and uh, I can clearly sense that sometimes you're not calculating because you you missed this c2 pawn. Yeah, I uh, missed the long castle. So, yeah, yeah. So g5 here, bishop e3. Now, now you see your your tempo is going down in the game with this move. You can you can already sense it, don't you feel? Yeah, uh, yeah. I, the energy is like head. this is this bishop is so nice on this diagonal, and you are like, Arey, wapas mm -hmm. why? Uh, and and yeah, again, you can just take it. Yeah, that was a thing I missed for quite a lot of time. Like, simply you you missed that this that could be taken, or you were like this bishop ko leke kya matlab hai? <laughs> yeah, I thought that this ko lekar kya hi ho jayega. But uh, bahut kuch ho jayega. In fact, you get the bishop yes, pair and this been. weakness, this weakness. Okay, bishop e three, yes. bishop f five. Now knight d7. Why did the knight jump there? Any reason? I thought of maneuvering it via c5 and attacking on b7. Point. But it's defended for the... Yeah, but like uh, c5 then... See, you didn't play it, play until now that position so well. Like uh, when you had bishop f4, you could have taken and all. But now this is a fresh yes. position. So let's try to think what to do. Okay. Uh... You say you have active pieces. Is yeah, your knight I is your knight uh, doing well on e5? Yeah, for now it is centralized and it's beautifully good. placed. I love it. Is your bishop yeah. okay? Yeah, it's having a nice diagonal for now. It's okay. This one? This one uh, not that great, but yeah, 
probably all the options it has uh, decent have to choose pretty okay decent, yeah. this guy is happy yeah having an open file what about this guy yeah this has to like make entry still in the game so let's do something about it so if you talk to the rook on h1 it'll be like are get me in the game hmm. so rook h1 again lazy move okay uh, what will the rook do on so, e1 not much actually so think so, of something more active rook g1 and rook then what's g1. your idea uh, g6 and what will he play then he has to uh, go for f6 and f6 no f6 is, is will make your rook yeah. be very happy on g1 because you will take take yeah. and then your rook is like i have an open file see if you're so, playing rook, uh, rook g1 g okay that move i thought you uh, were asking after g uh, g6 once i played no 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 after rook g1 yeah. what would black do rook g1 he will play g6 himself yes possible he may just stop this at the same time i'm not a big fan of this move g6 because it will kick your knight away with f6 yeah true so i want a better use of this so think of possibilities what do you do by the way rohan uh, sorry anand uh, i'm uh, i'm a student currently i am studying in class 11 you're studying class 11 what commerce yeah. science commerce i have taken commerce with maths okay so at some point when you will have to decide on what you want to become or what you want to do you will choose some options right yeah you will be like oh should i do ca should i do cfa should i do cs should i do uh, bcom with mcom should i do B bba whatever i mean there are so many options same way yes. for this rook you are like oh do you want to do bcom do you want to do yeah. ca what are the other options yeah. think of its future don't lightly give it ha chalo bcom kar lete hai easy hai then he'll be like after some time he will again bother you he'll be like are mere ko kuch nahi mil raha i'm not getting a job then you'll have to find yeah. out something else so find something which is good for it work hard okay. should i double up on the d5 and uh, what do you think seems nice <laughs> yeah how do you how do you start uh okay so i would start with rook d2 very good my first reaction would be rook d7 why not go in yeah that's possible but uh, isn't okay there aren't many problems regarding no think that, think so. think are there any problems or not you need to yeah, think that's okay you need to calculate Okay, so what is the first move that hits your head when I play rook d seven? The first move uh, for black with play rook d seven is that uh, there is some way. Okay, so f six. Yes, yes. This knight defends the rook and f six. And now what do you do? Now in yeah, my head, now. my head, I will not give up on this line yet because. Yeah. There is still hope against this king. It's weak. So what is the move that comes okay. to your head? Uh, rook takes e seven. King takes e seven. Knight g six. And uh, no, not knight g six. I would love to. I would love to. But the bishop controls yeah. it. Yeah. Bishop so, controls. Let's so... think more. Let's think. Is there anything yeah. else? Anything else? I would say. Look at some checks in the position. Are there any checks? There. Yeah, there is one which is bishop c five. Yes, continue your line because now look at this king bishop almost c5. mated. Yeah, uh, king e seven, king e seven or king d seven or yeah. No, king e eight only move. How king is on e seven? It can't go here, can't go here. Knight controls it. Yeah, this is controlled yeah, by the bishop. Controlled. So only move. And so now I would very move. very seriously think if there is anything here. that can help me to continue the attack okay is so it, is there any possibility mm. 
maybe rook h d one is it a bit too slow? You calculate. See, everything depends on calculation. If you if you can calculate, you will be a good player. If you can't calculate, you will just be shooting in the dark. You will be like, ha, ye khelte hai. Chalo, dekhte kya hota hai. Then night hangs. Arey yar, kuch nahi ho raha. I was thinking yeah. I'll get my rook here, but oh, this is protected. This is not how chess is to be played. Chess is a very responsible game. Every move you have to bear the consequences of your move. So what do you do now? Now, okay. Mm. I would love to bring more pieces, but the knight hangs for now, so I can't. Uh, if I take f6 and g takes, it doesn't help so much, maybe, or does it? Uh, let's see. Uh, I think it does. I, I mean, I would, I would think very, uh, like to make something work. But unfortunately, if yeah. I have to get my knight back, it might not yeah. be enough. He may push my bishop away. He may push b5. I mean, this could be a decent positional sacrifice, but it doesn't work. Yeah. So I'll go back here yeah. and then I'll play rook d2. Now, the thing is, hmm. we took around five minutes to examine this. And now yeah. that's why you need time when you play. You can't play very short games like five minutes, seven minutes, 10 minute games. You need maybe more 15, 20, half an hour games. So then you can look at these yeah. possibilities. And once they don't work, you play rook d2 with the idea of rook d1. Mm. Your rook comes in and you have a great position. Actually, now you will see that this rook, if you had made it a light move like rook g1 or rook e1, instead of that, this rook combined with this getting to d7 will be very strong. Yeah. Do you agree? True. Yes, sir, yes. Sir. So do you see your problem, Anand? What is your problem? Your problem is not that you uh, you're able to get a good position and you're not able to make the most of it. The main issue is that yes. you're not calculating. Hmm. And calculation is something which I also said right by the way, nice move BD3. Uh, because yeah. take, you take, what? Why? Uh, that's the just the, like, what was it? Why not take with the pawn? Double, yeah, double pawns. Uh, no, but your knight is hanging. My, stuck in my mind. Yeah, that's where I blundered. But yeah, this is where I where the game went off. He didn't even take. He didn't even take. He he did this. Then yeah. you did this. Then you... Oh, I mean... Yeah. I think you, you were already uh, not in a good frame of mind here. Because your rating is 1850. Yeah. And these are not mistakes yeah. for 1850. So, next yeah. time when you play such a game, Anand, try to yeah. calculate more. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Would you, would you like to, uh, yeah, tell me. Yeah, nothing, just uh, I had another game uh, if you want to discuss, uh, li like I uh, would love to, but if there is time. Okay, let's, or let's first do First of all, I want to, yeah, first, uh, can I, can you give me some suggestions if I want to improve my positional play, what can be the sources? So, of so if you li like to improve at this level, I, I would say uh, one very, two things you can do. One is that there is a book called Can You Be a Positional Chess Genius? Love it. Love that book. Okay. And I think very good for your level at this point by Angus Dunnington. Yeah. Uh, and there are 15 positions in every test and there are 12 such tests if I'm not wrong. So or, or 15. So there is a total of around 200 positions in the book. Beautiful book. Uh, and yeah. apart from that, I would recommend you to look at games by great players. I think that helps tremendously because you see what happens if you solve positions in positional chess genius or can you be all these books is that they are more situations like this position is there in the book what you can see on your screen and you have to solve that. But when you look at a game by a by a top player like let's say a positional genius like Capablanca, Smyslov, 
these two I would definitely recommend Akiba Rubinstein. Then what happens is you see it from the opening, you see it flow in the middle game and you see it to the end game. Mm. If you see even 10 such games of say Capablanca, what you can do? Very simple thing. You can search online or you can search on mega database best like you can search which are the best games of Capablanca. You may get some options and then search on your mega database if you have and I would say put it in training mode. See, I, uh, I don't know if you can uh, see my screen here. But also for the viewers in the chat, I will just uh, just make this slightly bigger here. So what I do is generally like I load a game. Mm -hmm. And you put it in a replay training mode. Okay. So what happens is let's say this is the game and I have to guess why it's move. So I'll play Bishop B3 here. Yeah. Sorry, I would do yeah this position. Say so play play as white. He takes and now I have to guess with what did Capablanca take. So I'll take with the rook, but he yeah. said rook rook d3. Your move is clearly the best. The game continued. C takes d3. What are you trying to do here is you are trying to guess the move. So yeah. there are two types of learning always passive and active. I would prefer you for active learning. So what many people do is they switch on a video. They then just lie down and then they watch the video. This is good. It increases your knowledge. It's but it's some kind of passive learning. When you see a game like this, it's very active. Now, what is the next move? You're like, oh, my knight is hanging. Uh, Capablanca must have, you know, saved his knight. But no, he did not. He played b4. What is his idea behind this move? When you do that, you are asking yourself everything and you improve very quickly. Because you are comparing your thought process with the thought process of a world champion. And then when you don't understand something, you make a note of it. Like, okay, in this game, I didn't understand this. And then there is, you ask someone, you know, in worst case, if there's no one, you can ask me, you can come again on Dr. Chess and ask me, or you can yeah. mail me on chess base in that gym. The main thing is to test yourself to, to understand. So this two things, one is, can you be a positional chess genius is a good book. The second one is to look at the games of Capablanca, uh, I would say go for Capablanca. He was a very good positional player. Okay. And uh, I have sent you the link of second game. Uh, okay. Let's have a look at it very quickly. Yeah. 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 Sure. Sure. Okay. So here. Yes. Okay, so you are playing with here. Oh, you are white. Yes. Okay, King's Gambit. Very nice. Inspired by Samai. No, I used to play it earlier. Too. Okay, next yeah. D4, F5, okay, E5 makes sense. Takes, pawn takes. Maybe knight takes, no? Yeah. Maybe, yeah. Yeah, because first of all, you don't exchange queens. Second of all, this is hanging. Third of all, there is a check here. So clearly, knight takes yeah, should be preferable, yeah. no? It should be better than he has to play knight f6 in order to prevent. Yeah, things. but then you can just take, or you can also play bishop c4, yeah. putting pressure on f7. I love your position. Yeah. So, Again, it's only a matter of looking at options. I don't know if you saw it, you were like, Aray, chalo, khel dete. what is the time control of this game? I only play 10 plus 0 games. Maybe, maybe increase it, maybe make it 15 plus 10. Play with increment. Okay. The main thing is the ability to calculate should come into you. 
Now, if you see one possibility even to look at takes couple of minutes. If you play a very short game, you don't have time. And, and most of the times what happens is when people come on Dr. Chess and I say you should calculate. They're like, I don't have enough time. If you don't have enough time, play longer games. Once you get better at calculating, the same thing which took you two minutes will take you 10 seconds to look at. But you can't start already like um, it's, it's a very normal thing uh, that very soon you will drive a car. You will learn driving. Yeah. You cannot yeah. directly be put on a highway and given a car. Yeah. You need to first yeah. start slowly. There will be a training car. Someone will have the brake on the other side with them and all of this. But once you get good at it, you will be much better. So right now, play longer time control games. Take, king takes, bishop c5, take the pawn, nice. Knight e7, knight c3, I like your development. He went here. Bishop c4 check, okay. King here. King e2, yes, nice. Your king is in the center. a6. Rook hd1. Why, why this rook? Yeah, I then realized maybe or uh, yeah, I saw the, uh, actually AD1 was better. Look, AD1 cause uh, that H rook could have been put on F file in future if it, the pieces move from there. Then I, that's also an open file, so piece uh, rook can stand there. Yeah, rook AD1 was better. Yes. Also, if you think about it, Anand, if you put your rook here, what is this rook doing? Can it go here or here? Yeah. There is no future, no. And if you put your rook here, then this rook has good scope. Maybe it can come here. Actually, what I thought is that I am going to immediately develop my rooks. So that won't matter much actually. But even if it matters or not, it's a good idea to just play this. Because yeah, just in case, just in case, even if you do h4, h5 and have some ideas here, this is a much more important rook than this one. Yeah, that's true. Okay, so you did this b5. Okay, bishop b3, bishop b7. Nice. By the way, I was thinking knight d5 is a nice move. Takes, takes, good. Yeah. Takes, bishop b6. All looks great. Doubles, uh, double, knight c6. Okay. Hmm. Now, oh, see, I can, I can just feel it that this is somehow not the best. I don't know why. It, yeah. I'm, I'm just thinking. You need to do something here, you need to do something and then you do this backward move. Maybe it's okay, but there yeah. could be something better. Maybe e6 or what? But e6, yeah, e6 just, e6. just rook, H8, uh, rook a8, like what? How will you save this pawn? I won't uh, save it, rather I would go uh, rook d7. But then why e6? I'll take with a check because because the bishop opened right so yeah I know but uh, it's not a too much to pay for just opening up the bishop yeah and this I is not a bad it. pawn this is a this is a this is a good pawn yeah I like what my thought process is uh, generally is that it's an isolated pawn so might not be good and it would be good to exchange it yeah, but it's just three possible. three squares away from becoming a queen. Yeah. And so it's is. it's it's a it's a good point. It's, I mean, it's still your pawn. You have to save it. Okay. I by the way, mm. on deeper inspection, like right now after talking, I don't think this is such a bad move. What you did because your mm. your plan is that this pawn is a weakness. Later you want to attack. You mm. want to exchange this. Also, you want to attack maybe rook c5 and here. So pretty good. In fact. If some of the positions in that positional chess genius are moves like this, it's not a bad move. What you oh. what you have done? So okay, you my did. My only too. idea here was just that uh, I was not able to find a good diagonal for my bishop, and his bishop was uh, amazing. So I wanted to exchange it for my bad bishop. Yeah, this, this is pretty decent. So he he played here, here, and he gave a check, which is not a good idea. Yeah. Because you just came up and your king is superb. It's beautiful. Yeah. This, this, this. It's very nice. So he played rook d8 and which is suicide. Because yeah. uh, first yeah, of all, you, you, it's, you're going into an end game yeah. and your king is active. So what should you play here as white? 
Rooktex, Rooktex D8, Rooktex D8, Rooktex D8, and I might go into an endgame and push that pawn, which is very near to make just, a queen. Just take King takes uh, F4, pawn up. If King yeah. F4 now, take, uh, take, yeah, take, take, and just take this. You are pawn up. King takes F4, yeah. But uh, okay, that's nice. But isn't You want to push the pawn? Hello? Anand, are you there? Actually, again in this position, guys, it is quite possible that white may have a simpler win than king takes f4. So it might be a good idea to calculate. So I want to play e6, e7 and queen. So I'll start off my calculation with king d5 because I'm trying to push here. But there is a problem uh, after king d5. What should black play? Let's think. So black to move. And this is the thing which I want to put into, drill it into all of your head, all the people who are watching this. How to look at opponent's best possibilities here. See, if you do nothing, he's just going to push, push and make a queen. So what do you play? Yes, Peter Kavanaugh, you're right. Ayush Patel, if you play c6, then the king will come in. Then it's more dangerous. Your king is very active. Tapas Banerjee, yes, king g8. Saranj, very good. So king g8, e6, king f8. And now can you make progress? Is it possible to do something here? If it is not, then this is not a good idea, King D5. Then I would rather just pick this pawn up, be a pawn up. But you can never make good decisions without calculating. It's very, very necessary to calculate. I would look at King F5. King F5 also has similar fate. King G8, E6, King F8. So here, uh, Anant played knight g5. I, I think his internet has gone. So I'll just finish off this game. Rook takes h6, knight e6. By the way, he played well, yeah, this game. Very well. Knight c7, rook e7, knight a6. He won, won another pawn and his opponent blundered a piece and he won the game. I, I feel Anant is one of those players who's very strong, who's very good, but he is a little bit lazy. To calculate if he can work on this laziness of calculating that would be the best just make your brain think calculate in any position that's the most important thing. i i really loved bishop e3 by the way i just want to check with the engine if this is the best move in the position oh man bishop e3 is the i mean after i think h4 and then bishop e3 so one of the best moves so well done anant you you are you did amazing in this okay guys let's go to the next one i think he had internet issues let's see who uh, we have here on the next in our dr chess queue we have kartik narula okay let's get kartik narula into the room Also, guys, all those who haven't uh, been on Discord of Chessbase India, please join in so that more people can be in touch. Hello, Karthik. Can you hear me? Hello, hello. Hi, Karthik. Hello, sir. How? Karthik, how are you? Sir, I'm fine. How are you? I'm good. Can you switch on your camera? Yeah. So, am I visible? Slowly you are getting visible. Your internet is not very stable, it seems to me. 
PSNs and the issue. Maybe the 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 bandwidth is not enough to start the video. Where do you live? In Nashik. Sir, I'm from Delhi, and this is my second doctor chess. So actually, you have been there before. When were you on doctor chess? I am sure if I saw your face. Yes, uh, it was fourteen. On fourteenth, okay. Uh, but I can't see you, so it's very difficult for me. But although the name is something I do recollect, can, can how can uh, I help you and tell us a bit about yourself? Like how strong are you, sir? I am around around uh, fifteen hundred to sixteen fifty, and my rating varies in between. Okay. Uh, yeah, some internet issues there. As Doctor Chess Karthik, I would uh, tell you to improve your internet connection. If you do that, it would be great. Hello. Yeah, Karthik. Yes, sir. Very important to have good internet connection. I can't. I can't hear you properly. Okay, let's try it one more time. My if you, voice if, if I can't, then or it's shaking. Yeah, it's breaking and it's not very clear. It's clearly an internet issue, like the speed. And in case yes. if yes, it sir, keeps yes. breaking, then I I would recommend that you try to fix your internet and come again. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's not it's not clear, Karthik. And so I can't hear you, and it, it would just you know we would be spending time on trying to fix it. So shall we do this next time when you can fix your speed? Sir, we can do it tomorrow if yes. Come uh, uh, if you can if you can if fix your internet and be I I would be more than happy to have you and to uh, yes, I I also like sir. when people come again uh, with new like uh, who are serious. Because it means that we, it's like a follow-up thing, and uh, then we can have more, and you can improve. Okay. Okay, Karthik. See you tomorrow or in the next. I'm going to do this for another four days. Okay. We'll let's come uh, more definitely. Okay. Let's get R A G into the room next. I had one super chat which I missed. I think yeah, was by Demon Chess Channel Sagar. You are always amazing. Zing Zang at love towards chess base. Vidit Gujarati, our favorite favorite basketball player, chess player, Demon Chess. Thank you, Demon. Hello, hello, sir. Hello, hello, Raghav. How are you? I just assumed from R A G that your name is Raghav. Am I right? No. No. Okay. Um, what's your name? Rishi. Rishi. Yeah. So why R A G? Because uh, my name is uh, Rishi. My father's name is Amit. My surname is Gorak. Uh, your surname is Gorak. Yes, it's a short form. Nice. Very nice. Uh, you are you are from Gujarat. Yes. Uh, where do you live in Gujarat? Junagadh. Junagadh. Nice. And uh, you are sixteen years old. Seventeen. Oh. Okay. So tell me, uh, what are you doing? And tell us about a bit about your chess. So I am studying in twelfth standard. Mm hmm. Uh, I used to play chess in uh, second or third standard. Okay. But I, I, it's it's like uh, the parents buy you as a toy something, and you get. I was good in playing, but I left it because there was no one to play with. Then, and seven. The, uh, everyone's started. saying, uh, Rishi, that your sound is a bit low. Can you speak a little little louder or have your mic closer? Okay, I will maybe. Ah, yeah, yeah, closer. it's better, much better. So I started seven months ago and uh, reached the rating of thirteen hundred just by watching the videos and. Everything. Yeah, wonderful. 
so i think i can improve more and play some tournaments uh, after going to college maybe i also agree with this so how can i help you so i am uh, i like solving tactics uh, by which uh, i have improved so much like beautiful i can show one game yes uh, please do i love i love when people love to solve tactics because i find okay. that it it is the fastest way to improve and also very very um you become very strong kind of you become a fierce player because you whenever someone makes a mistake you can pounce on it so it's very important to be tactically strong yeah can you send me your game i i'll say send you a hi on what uh, on uh, discord then you can you can send it to me there okay rg so this is your game can you see my screen rishi just a second Yeah. yeah when you come through mobile it's not easy to can you see it yeah yeah okay are you white or black i am white you are white okay e4 e5 knight f3 d6 bishop c4 nice bishop g4 knight c3 take okay queen takes not a, not great play by your opponent he goes knight yeah, f6 i blundered many things yeah but no this idea i mean i don't know uh, ahead but this is a Uh, just giving up your bishop for knight allowing you to develop yeah. your pieces it looks already great okay knight f6 now you went g4 very interesting you want to push him away and you want to checkmate actually i i i thought it but i forgot that you can simply prevent it by h6 oh well it's okay but i mean it's not a bad move what you did i would i would rather have thought about you know uh, trying to develop with d3 or just castle yeah but it's uh, so g4 is not it. bad it's not bad it is it is my main opening and usual idea is to open this uh, g file for the rook and go to checkmate the king mm. and i usually play e4 stuff italian most of okay so he went knight c6 and here you played knight d5 why did you do knight d5 i, I usually exchange that knight uh, it uh, don't so maybe it's a match yeah i mean the thing is see you have you have good development uh and he has his pieces out uh you when, when you do this he can just exchange yeah and okay. at the end of it maybe okay you have a threat here but he can defend it with queen d7 yeah, or maybe queen f6 as well just these possibilities but when you play uh, i would say that here it could be much better to kind of use your space you have more space to keep more pieces on the board so can you think of some other way to continue and what is his idea with knight c6 his idea is to come to d4 yes so how can you uh, play against it or do you think it's a it's a big threat e2, that you should knight e2 yeah very interesting move uh, stopping this but again you are moving a piece that is already developed can you do some bishop e3 yeah i like this move bishop i like this move because i'm preparing long castle and then i'm yeah. going to put h4 g5 in the position so i like this way of playing another possibility is just to say hey this is not a big threat i'll just drop my queen back to defend this pawn and go g5 because if he takes you take with the bishop trying to pin him anyway you went knight d5 he went here you took queen takes c3 good move stopping knight d4 long castling bishop e3 again fine king b8 and now you played a4 this is quite a risky strategy 
uh, Rishi, yeah. because yeah. what you have done is you can't castle here anymore. Your pawn is here. You know your king will get a yep. bit weak, and now you yeah, can't even castle I... here. Did a little inaccuracy and I saw a short castle after. But... Ah, okay, okay. So, so just think about it this way: that when you are, when your king is in the center, it can be very dangerous for you. So, if I were black. In this position, I would be very keen to do something in the center. So, can you think of some good ideas for black? Guys, also in the chat. Rishi, are you there? Most of the people come and they give me a game, and then when it gets exciting, they, their internet goes away. <laughs> they have to do something about the internet. Yes, Dev Marcia, Star, Five Star Thug, Terrible Chris, Jairaj Goyal. You know, the intent is great to play D5. Now you have to calculate. You know, intent alone does not help. You need calculation. So let's say he takes here. What do you do? Try to think. Joy Datta, how are you? Joy Datta is fighting uh, COVID. I hope you are doing better. Now that sleep cycle is coming back to normal, will for sure. Join Dr. Chess one day. This is helping a lot. Analysis of actual game live with player. Great. How do you continue, guys? ED, uh, Peter Cavan or Queen D7 first could be an idea. Yeah, I like this idea to play to go Queen D7 first, hit this pawn. If he defends it, then go D5. Very interesting. I mean, then suddenly white strategy just falls, fails completely. King is in the center and you are opening it up. Before he could even attack, you have reached his king. However, I am saying sometimes, hello Rishi, are you there? Mm, he's not there. D5, ED, it's not so silly, guys. Try to think, try to make this work. It could be that this already works. Yes, Anant Ramesh here. I, I like your move. Yes, Dev Marsha, I also like this. There are two possibilities here. One is knight d4. And this takes advantage of the ability if of the fact that his king is still in the center. Because oops, sorry. If he takes the knight, I take back with the pawn. And you can see here. Big problem. The other possibility is to play e4. Again, not so silly. Because if you take here. I may jump with my knight to e5. And if he comes here, now I can already think about taking here. But I could also think about taking here. I could also think about taking here. So many possibilities. This position is so ripe with possibilities. So, I feel that here this move a4 was taking it a bit too far. Just long castle would have been much better. When you, when do you attack? When can you attack on the flanks, guys? When can you make such moves work? It's a very important question for you to understand. When can these attacks work? These are known as flank attacks. When you play on the side of the board. Can you tell me? I like how Rishi is very fixed here. By the way, Rishi, if you are going to watch this later, this is how you can uh, learn from this example. Just maybe you can watch it again. King is safe and center is strong. Raghav Nair. Um, not king is safe, but center is, uh, instead of strong, I would use a better word. When the center is closed, yes. When the center is stable, even the king is safe is could be like king can be on e1. Just imagine if I have a pawn on d5. Okay, let me make a couple of moves here. d4 just 
as a random and then go d5 okay he he goes with his knight somewhere okay let me put it put his knight back here now in such a position plank attacks make a lot of sense you just go forward the thing is he can't break but when your position is like this and when you start playing a4 then the first thing that should hit in your head is hit the center and make it work work hard on the board Joy Dutta says, I'm better Sagar, although pain and weakness is there now, at least brain is working fine, hope to get back soon. Just understood one thing, what you did during COB is almost impossible. Well, I think there are different uh, levels of COVID, you know, for different people. Maybe for me, it was not very, uh, very strong, but great that you are improving. So, Rook D7 b4 and you can see how black is playing he's just playing too timidly and now uh, rishi who is very good at tactic solving and all oh he castles takes g5 and tries to double up his rooks takes takes oh and guys i think he spotted something really great so white to play what would you do here let's see I think this is one of those moments where you enjoy uh, playing chess. Try to figure out what's the best move here. Yes, Pragun, Mahipal, Dev Marcia, Savita Chess, Somil Gupta. Yeah, I think this is something which Rishi could have done. Take here, take here, check, check and mate. However, his opponent could have declined the queen uh, sack and gone here. But then it's a checkmate here. The other possibility is rook b7. But then you can take this rook. The other possibility is also king c8. But then you can play rook a7. I think it will... Uh, it should be strong, but I'm not sure because the reason why I'm not sure is because he has this check and this could end in a, so let's, let's say I begin with the rook takes, I think should, I should take with the queen perhaps because if I take with the king, uh, with the rook check, king here check and then at least a draw. It's a perpetual if i go here there is a check so yeah it's not so simple queen b6 king c8 might be the best response you have to calculate guys chess is a lot about just calculation so maybe take take and take this but then check king here check maybe or take here it's not so simple one queen cannot checkmate without getting the rook in and i am controlling this square for now so in the game rishi played a nice move which was rook a7 and i think maybe it's stronger although the other move is more attractive it's more, much stronger takes takes rook b7 i don't like what about king c8 maybe we reach the same position no i'm sure white is winning here but It's not trivial, just the fact that there is a perpetual here. Okay, queen d8 here. Ah, nice finish. Ooh, nice. Good game, good game. But I would I would say, uh, Rishi, to your uh, calculations look good and you can clearly see the way you grow up as a chess player depends a lot on what you intake. I can clearly see that he is solving a lot of tactics. You can see it in his moves all the tactical possibilities and this is great guys i cannot sort of overstress the importance of solving tactics it's so important just keep doing it all the time you know whenever you get some time solve solve and don't solve just essay think and solve okay we'll, we'll do some maybe later at some point i'll show you how you can solve better okay let's go to the Next person in the queue, Dr. Chess queue, who is it? 
we have Soumya Jeet. Was it? Oh, Soumya Jeet was there yesterday. I think he missed it. Let's see if he's there today. Hello, Soumya Jeet. Can you hear me? I, it would be quite unfortunate if he's not there today as well. I I believe yesterday he wasn't there. He was there in the queue, but he didn't. Or maybe he can not activate his mic. So, Majid, can you hear me? Okay, I'll... Let's ask someone else. Uh, let's go to the next person. Mayur. Nice. Let's get Mayur. I have great, great respect for Mayur. Because, you know, he started improving chess at last year. And I think he's become very strong with a lot of work. He's put in a lot of work. Let's see. Let's talk to him. Let's see how we can make him even stronger. Mayur, are you there? Hello, hello, Mayur. Rishi says, thank you, Sagar, sir. My Discord crashed, but I watched the stream. Okay, fantastic, Rishi. Rishi, I will ask you to continue your tactic solving. Okay. Oh, yes. Hello. Uh, mic going. Uh, sorry, Sagar, I have not shortlisted my games to show you. Okay. Can I get into the queue and come back tomorrow again? Sure, sure. I just wanted to say hello and uh, I'll just turn on my camera as well just so yes. people can see. Yes, Mayur, how, uh, can you just give me a short update on what was your level when the lockdown started a year ago and what is it now? So, I I am... Let's say on a very good day, I could play as good as 1800-2000 level. If I really put my mind to it. That was my state before the lockdown began. It is sort of my state now also. But I would say that before the lockdown began and before your sessions began, I had no idea about these incremental ways of playing chess, of improving the position, of uh, checking imbalances and then taking it from there or for that matter even maybe i have done some positional play in my games earlier but i had no idea that this is positional play it's just play sometimes i used to be absolutely lost like what am i supposed to do i'm just playing for the sake of playing that middle game mm. and my questions at that time always used to be what do i do in the middle game how do we handle the middle game and that is where your streams have helped me great so to know if you remember when you got the daniel king in the grandmaster the first time i had sent a message saying that i loved this series in uh, the guardian which i checked online it was mainly so because it dealt with what to do in the middle games hmm. that has been a one big like weak point so now, at least I know what to do. I know when I'm in a dead lost position and then what to do. Okay. So that's an improvement sometimes... that you, you know what to do. Yes. And, and you are also playing a lot of over the board events. So I think, uh, but they are not federated. Yeah. As of now, in, you are in Japan and there are some events yes. happening. So, so you are looking to get your federating soon. I am looking to get my feeder rating, but considering what I've done in the over the board events, I think I'll wait for a little bit and then go for an actual feeder rating because I want to get everything, like all the mistakes I do, I want to do before I go into a feeder rated event. Right. And then I want to analyze them and improve. Okay. That is my idea. Wonderful. I think maybe if you can get one or two good games that you would like to get analyzed we can do it tomorrow yeah. and then we, maybe it will help you to get even stronger but 
uh, I see yes. you in so many streams. I see you yeah. improving, working very hard on chess, and it's very inspiring. So please continue that. Definitely, Sagar. Would you like only the games I have lost, or would you? No, also anything, anything. Like I, I just, I, won or won? I just want to talk to you about that game. Understand why you made certain decisions, and based on that, I, I, based on the way people talk. I try to understand their uh, whether yeah. they you know uh, how is their approach to chess. Do they work hard okay. on the board? Do you do they play intuitively? And maybe all of that helps to make some suggestions. Right. Okay. All so right. then I'll probably bring games where I've made some worse, like one of the worst mistakes. That would be the best to learn from. Sure. Okay. Great, Mayur. Take care. Yes, thank you. Bye. Bye. That was Mayur from Japan and a big thank you to Kiran Patil who's become a member backer of Indian Chess. Thank you so much Kiran. Okay, let's go uh, very quickly to our queue and see if we can get one more. Saurabh 7. Let's see. Uh, Saurabh, Saurabh, Saurabh. Are you there Saurabh? Oh, I don't see Saurabh here. Uh, Gurkirat Singh. Okay, let's get Gurkirat Singh here. Gurkirat was there yesterday. He was going to choose some games. And then... Oh, Saurabh was there. Just a second. Ah, because I checked his name on S. He's there. He's there. One second. Gurkirat, if you can uh, wait, I'll get you next. Yeah, I'll get Saurabh. His name starts with a dollar sign. And that's what confused me. Because if it's S, then he would be there in the alphabetical list. But he, he has like this dollar. Okay. Hello, Saurabh. Can you hear me? Can't uh, hear you, Saurabh. Maybe you aren't there. Okay, let's get Gurkirat. Okay, let's see. So my hands up. Hello, Gurkirat. Hello, sir. How are you? Yes. Gurkirat, uh, who is this in your profile pic with you? <laughs> That's Barkha Singh. Sorry? He's an actor. Barkha Singh. She's an actress. Barkha Singh. Ah, okay. Okay, now we would like to see your face. Yeah, just a minute. I was just selecting one game. Yeah, done. Gurkirat is one of those uh, kids who studies at the last moment in examination. Is, that, is it true? Mm, I would, yeah, sort of. Yep. Okay. Because you, you could have sent me the game much earlier, but you're sending it now. Okay. Uh, you send me a lot of games. Which one should I choose? Yeah, so the the recent ones, like the last three which I sent, like yesterday and today. Ah. Just those. That's it. I mean, so okay, let's... all three of those I get are the games which I lost. Okay. And nice. don't silly it takes a lot of courage to uh, check your games which you have lost. And Gurkirat, usually in chess, there are not many silly mistakes. Yeah, uh, that's what people assume that. Yeah, but I do a lot. That it's a silly mistake, but when you keep doing it again and again, and you keep saying that it's a silly mistake, it may not be so silly after all. Because it happens again and again. So let's see. You are black here. E4, E6, French. Okay. F6. Is this something that you have thought of? Or uh, because um, this yeah. is the standard way to hit the center. Yes, but the thing is that the problem with me with this opening is I haven't learned it yet. So... I usually lose out a lot in the opening itself where there's like one bad move and but learn I mean, this although I do play this opening, yeah you, I do play this opening a lot but you can't play a move like f6 
because and and also if you play f6 which is still i mean it's a not a great move but it's not a blunder and after bd3 always this is a big threat to give a check because g6 which you generally want to play is met with bishop g6 at g6 and queen takes an h8 so you cannot play I, knight c6 yeah i always forget that thing and it it literally i hate it a lot I mean, I need to learn out on this because I lost this just because of that one check. I lost this game yeah. just because I forgot that there is queen. You and haven't forgotten it, uh, Gurkirat. It is impossible to forget something like this if you know it. Like today, if I tell you and you make the same mistake again, it's not forgetfulness. Yeah. It's more like you are uh, not careful at that point. And you're not, you're not calm. There's some reason why you don't see it. You have to, you have to pin that very reason why that is happening. So here, what would be a better move instead of uh, knight c6? Just a minute. So, sorry, my mom was here. Me ko garam pani rene aiti mummy. Okay. Sorry about that. Ha, so here I should I feel that I should stop it by playing g six, mm -hmm. or else I can go with knight e seven so that if there is a queen check in coming, I can put knight on g six. Not knight on g6 because if he gives a check, you put it here, knight, then he'll take it. <laughs> and there will be another silly mistake. So you have to play g6. Yeah. So knight e7 is yeah. not bad. I would also think f5 is pretty interesting, just blocking the bishop. Although, you know, you've kind of lost one of yeah. your important breaks yeah. in the center. I hate that pawn structure. That's the thing. I from yeah. whatever you have said whatever little you have said i think french defense is not an opening for you if you hate this structure why not go e4 e5 but okay i'm not going to give uh, opening suggestions with just one game but knight c6 check king e7 knight f3 queen e8 so you're fighting back queen h4 king d7 c4 which is good move by him he's trying to open up the position when your king is in the center you gave a check Knight c3, b6. Okay, you want to put your bishop on b7. He castled. Bishop b7, take, take. Bishop f5. This is brutal, yeah? I, your opponent looks strong. Yeah, he was 1700. Yeah, he's playing very well. Take on f6. Vasan's game, I played with him on stream in Flashbun's uh, streams a lot. That's the thing. Oh, he bl uh, blundered a rook there. I, I think if knight e5 would have been stronger, right? Or knight g5. Yeah. Just yeah, finishing I mean, off. But uh, don't you think, like, I I did analyze this game, but I was thinking, like, shouldn't I have taken the knight first, like, with the bishop? Since yeah, he yeah. Moved the rook? Yeah, so that I can just bring my rook with a check, like, bring my rook in there. Because then I'll have an open file as well. Yeah, yeah. But but I but I think he won't take back your bishop. Okay. But then what will he play is the question. Uh, maybe, maybe bishop g5. Yeah, but then he'll have to like try to just move his rook out of that place, shouldn't he? Yeah, the thing is, next move, uh, the threat is, if you take here, I would take back. And then this guy is hanging yeah, on e7. But, but there could be a rook f8 move here. And then I can think of, you know, defending. So you are, you are right here. I think you, you should have continued with first taking on f3 and then on e1 if possible. But when you played bishop e1, knight e1, I think you have good fighting chances here. Why rook, Why not rook f8? Yeah, but 
I was just trying to attack there because. But I think yeah, you are winning a piece here. See, you will win oh this. Oh my god, yes. I am. So. I didn't tell. Yeah, I didn't. This, even though this was a longer time format game, I didn't. Look at my position pretty well. I think I, I think I, you are very attracted by kind of checkmating the king, opponent's king. So here, you thought maybe at some point if the knight moves away, you can give a check here, uh, which is why you chose this. But he he played bishop g5, h6, queen takes, and yeah, you blundered this very bad, uh, yes. very. Uh, this is this. I I think. Uh, Gurkira, these are little little errors which you make, which you need to cut down on them. And the way you cut down is before making a move, you ask yourself, what can my opponent do after I make my move? And this is something which also Vidit has mentioned in his streams and he has given this advice that always end your calculation with opponent's move. And I think for you, it becomes all the more critical. Let's look at one more game so that we have a better idea whether you did yes. this before as well in some other game. Yep, I, I. You will just see one of the other games. You will just laugh at it. I no, mean, I won't laugh at it. it. I I would. Uh, the thing is, Gurkirat, what I see here is that whatever mistakes you make uh, can either be just sort of dismissed as hey that was not that was a silly mistake or we can try to somehow improve on it so let's look at this game with uh, james knight sujit yeah yeah i did like this game yeah this game was actually pretty good okay I, let's see. i mean the only problem was i messed up in the end game here even though i did mess up like quite a few moves mm. okay you are black sujit is white yes. knight f6 i like your opening play you developed all the pieces take take queen c7 bishop so tell me one thing why would you uh, play your queen to c7 um i was just trying to you know i okay i don't really know but i was just trying to like connect my uh, bishop there just trying to attack cuz kabhi agar aise chota mistake ho jata hai to i might have an edge there so that's why i just tried that out i was like castling i can do a like one move later just to you know uh, allow uh, my pieces to still be in a better position okay one one thing here gurkirat you are uh, not very clear with what you are thinking so first of all queen c7 you played he played bishop b2 now you play bishop d6 i don't know what what's going on because you have developed your bishop you're moving it again is it that at some point you want to sacrifice here i mean yeah there were thoughts about that but i was just trying to uh, you know put pressure on e5 there the center but then why didn't you why didn't you play here bishop d6 oh exact yeah but that's i forget those little things sometimes and no uh, you don't forget them it's not about forgetfulness it's about not being sure about what you are doing at that point like for example here you are like abhi bishop theek lag raha hai yahan pe then very suddenly you take an impulsive decision ki nahi yahan pe theek nahi lag raha now i want to bring it here when actually speaking your bishop is okay i agree that it would have been slightly better on d6 but it's okay let's try to make good with what we have right now so let's make moves without moving the same piece which is developed let's try to make moves with different pieces what do you do yeah so i would then i will i would play b6 just yes. so that i can develop very b6. nice move b6 where do you put your bishop then let's say i play yeah, bishop b2 uh i would 
put my bishop on b7 or else yeah on yeah b7 look of better. course the d7 right नहीं नहीं आई एम सेइंग ऑफ कोर्स डी सेवन नो नो बिकॉज आई मीन इट इज नॉट कंट्रोलिंग एनी डायग्नल आई मीन आई डू लाइक द सेंटर डायग्नल अलॉट दैट्स वाई आई वुड प्रिफर बी सेवन योर या ऑफकोर्स आई एम जस्ट जोकिंग विथ यू दिस इज हाउ यू प्ले यू सी यू प्ले बी सिक्स देन नेक्स्ट मूव यू प्ले बिशप बी सेवन दिस इज वॉट यू डिड हियर bishop e7 then bishop d6 so just imagine you play b6 with the idea of getting your bishop here and then next move you put it here so it's it looks silly right so that's how it is and i would say uh, gurkirat you can put your bishop on a6 this is a much better diagonal here yeah yes that looks also good yeah it's a nice one uh bishop b7 is slightly passive okay uh i would and also i would love that you would castle here because that's the most natural place for your king now why to delay it i mean i was just like ki abhi tak kuch attack aaya hai nahi king abhi tak danger mein hai nahi to maine socha ek move matlab thode moves delay kar sakte hai yes but that's but not I... the thing is you can delay it for but its castle is not just a king safety move it's also a developing move your rook comes to the center so yes. it's actually an improving it's improving your position okay so you went queen c7 bishop b2 bishop d6 rook c1 now queen b8 are q abhi ye ye abhi ye meko samjha nahi yaar meko i just played random moves after a point i don't know why no 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 so the thing is no random moves yeah from henceforth you will not make random moves you will do it with thought okay i understand that the rook is opposite the queen you have some but right now it's not so easy for him to win because your pawn defends the knight what is more important to castle or to put your queen here i mean yeah castling looks more important castle is much better so you went queen b8 now castles and now look what you did e5 so think about it okay guys uh, uh, gurkirat this is not some uh, some kind of a session where i'm trying to you know bring out your flaws and stuff like that what i'm trying to do here is just bringing out the fact that this looks like a game that you know there 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 used to be like a, a group simul that would happen you know what does that mean group simul or uh, i don't know the name to it it maybe it can be called multi simul in that it so happens that there are many people playing let's say 20 30 people and if a if it's a simul one person is making all the moves on all the boards but when it is like a multi simul or a group simul there are many masters like four or five masters who go alternatively in rounds and make a move so here in your game it feels like that that four or five players have come together and everyone is making a move because see one player said are sunna bishop e7 pe acha hai then the other person comes and says nahi nahi queen rakhenge then the other player bishop rakhte bole are yaar queen mujhe pasand nahi hai yahan pe i'll put queen on b8 we like are yaar we should have broken in the center you see it doesn't seem like there's one guy playing a lot of people together so you need to have one thought process here yeah maybe uh, maybe tandem simul i am not sure e5 takes knight takes knight takes bishop takes and now think about what should you do here with white white has a tactic here yep so ye maine game mein notice kar liya tha but phir bhi maine sambhal ke nahi khela he should have taken my bishop first and then gone correct uh, ish, yeah ish. taken my bishop with which bishop place. yes rook c8 right, this yeah. would have been very yeah. nice rook c8 rook c queen c8 and bishop e5 so would have been uh, and he would just win this position because his he gets two bishops for a rook and his bishops are very strong 
so bishop e5 he took here you took with the queen now your position looks okay uh, although you're still lagging behind in development here knight g5 queen f5 bishop h3 okay uh i think you you lose a piece yeah here or no you took a here i was thinking i was thinking after queen f5 what is the move that white should think of playing here when the opponent's king is in the center what do you do um shouldn't yeah you should have still tried to uh, take my uh, i feel rook takes c8 still works here so that even if he takes it with the rook i my bishop can come in on h3 trying yes. to attack and i'll get a rook in for a knight yeah but he gave a rook it's a kind of an equal trade equal is trade but now b7 is hanging so i like white's position overall yeah. but also i don't like uh, knight g5 move maybe he could have done knight d4 yeah i mean ha huh, it does look the thing is you yeah, attack here point. no this is but yeah there is this rook c8 idea okay bishop h3 he played this takes takes and now you castled and he yes, can he totally. could have finally he could have taken this pawn but he went back rook e8 knight e4 and then okay the game went on i think eventually what uh, you lost yeah this game yeah i did lose but i lose it on the end game like yeah. rook and pawn on game okay and this I'll is a nice it. move here here okay let's see how we play this check rook here takes okay four versus three is supposed to be draw rook a2 nice move okay. nice move hitting that pawn h4 uh king h5 slightly risky slightly risky now h6 okay here uh did you consider playing you played here rook a4 you know did you consider playing g5 because it was i was a bit uh, i was yeah i did think because uh, it looks good but the problem was that he is one pawn up to me thoda exchange karne pe darr raha you should exchange so, you should exchange remember when you are material down exchange pawns try to avoid exchanging pieces kyunki pawns jitne exchange honge utta tum you will get closer to the filled or position or some theoretically drawn position okay so here trying to exchange pawns is a good idea just to take here okay. although uh, i mean this is this should be considered yeah like uh, specifically i'm just trying to think because mm -hmm. now although i think g4 no but he'll come rook f4 and no you have a check losing... you have a check Yeah, so he will come queen. Sorry, king f4. No, he'll but then this is hanging. Oh yeah. I'm not sure this position. What is happening? Um, maybe he mm. should go back king g2, and then yeah, you can come back and f4. defend. And uh, perhaps this is still a draw, because he has a weak pawn here. I'm not sure because you can come like this, but when you come on the second rank, I'll give you a check. When you come up. I'll take this pawn. So it's not so simple. Should be winning for white, but not easy. Yeah. Okay. Rook a4. You're waiting, which is a good. And then then you play this now. G4. Good move. Now king g5. Uh, king g6 would have been better because then he cannot do this e4 trick for the pinning the pawn. You went this mistake. He went e4. Ah, uh, exactly. I have not given any attention to that he could have done that. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, once again, active. Be active. Don't be passive. Once you are passive, no, as a attack guy, na sab, then it's over. Like, it's not so so simple. So you need to be active always. And yeah, here he quit. Okay. So I want you to have one thought process, Gurkirat, when you play your games. It's a. Uh, it's going to be tough for you to do this. but you can do it what you need to do is you need to first 
make sure you control the center you develop all your pieces you make sure that you generally try to move one piece only once in the opening don't repeat make it a plate again and again once you develop all your pieces control the center come up with a plan come up with something and then you go through with it unless your opponent does something like he blunders a piece or he gives you to something but i want you to play chess more stably like more as one gurkirat playing not with 10 different thoughts in your head yeah yes yes try it try try doing that in a few games and see if it helps so this is what i see i don't know if you do this like generally also uh, i i have seen that chess usually reflects upon what sort of a person you are so maybe you also try to change things a lot in your day to day life it's possible i don't know that that's pretty true so it it does happen like are main ye karna chahta hu but nahi nahi jaane do main abhi ye karta hu or something like that and then that spills over in your chess thinking as well so perhaps wow. it's something which you can fix it's hmm. in a way it's good also yeah because you are flexible you are not tethered to one idea ki kabhi kuch change hua to you are very quick to adapt to the new situation it has its plus sides but at the right moment not always yeah exactly yeah okay yeah, good so, uh, yeah tell me ha that main main bolne wala to ab itna kuch nahi bas dimag mein kuch hai see see you did this again you are like i want to say something and then you are like nahi nahi bas jaane do abhi so you cha- you changing now you you say it what do you want you started something you say it follow through it's it's okay what we, what do you want to say sorry oh. gurkira to like bahut ho raha hai abhi now i'm going to just switch oh, off my last internet last game tha wo to ko acha nahi lag raha ah okay last game let me quickly get, go over it so that if there is something um, which we can आगे चल Yeah. Yeah, and I, I miss. I mean, and वो मैंने कितनी जल्दी वो bishop वाला move कर दिया था बिना सोचे समझे. Yeah, just check here, yeah. no, and then you will win this. वही. But uh, you know, Gurkirat, few things here. First of all, it's mm-hmm. important that you don't give up your bishop, which is a nice one because all your pawns are on light square. So this is your good bishop here. so it you just give this up like this so maybe better to just go h3 and prevent this so before playing queen d2 okay. so so that could be an important thing other thing is you played d4 here maybe i i feel like maybe taking here might not be a bad idea because he is giving up a bishop you can just go like double here could be a good way to continue yep some Ah, uh, but then he might have some tricks there, like you know, uh, like bishop takes x three. Ah, sure, 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 sure. No, this is this is definitely a trick. How how about king h one here? Maybe just saving that. Or how about starting with rook f three? Although rook hmm. f three, I'm slightly worried about knight d four. Ah, uh, yeah, boy. So yeah, may- maybe what you did, but. No, I'm I'm not very happy with the fact that you have these weak pawns here, and I think Nilan should not have played f5 because his position is great. Maybe just reroute this bishop here, put it put it on a strong point, then bring your queen. Try to get in on the dark squares which are weak. 
but this is a much better game this is a much better game uh, gurkirat uh, based apart really? yeah this is this is much better than your previous games because here you at least have, okay you got checkmated and all but here you have at least played kind of a game which makes sense like you you stuck to an idea you developed your pieces you see you developed your pieces you struck in the center it's a decent game yes try playing yes. more more games try doing this and whenever your mind says are ye jo tune pehle wala idea socha tha wo galat hai try to do something different be careful be aware of that fact and don't call every mistake that you make a silly mistake or a careless thing yeah like just be a little bit more attentive about that so that you can avoid doing it you want to stop doing it at some point yes the more you underplay it the more it will keep happening hmm. yeah yes sir sir okay good luck gurkirat and uh, see you soon bye bye okay guys should we do one last it's already 927 but let's do a very quick final one uh, who's the next one in the queue cp past pawn yash okay let's go cp is he there let's do it very quickly it will be a short one but let's see hello cp hello hello where are you seems like at some airport or some air base hello 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 Yeah. Can't hear you, CP. Maybe something is wrong. Okay, guys. I'll I'll then call it a day for today. Uh, it's been a pretty long session already. Two and a half, two hours, twenty three minutes. And he'll continue again tomorrow. Uh, I don't know if this is something that is useful to everyone who's watching it. i'm sure it could be if you see yourself there um because you know i i was reading this book by ray dalio uh who is supposed to has written this book called principles and he mentioned that you know there's not enough time for you to make all the mistakes and learn from it something similar yeah he wrote and it's better to learn from others mistakes others mistakes and avoid them so i think in dr chess one of the key elements that you can learn is in a day if they if we are meeting four or five people or six people you can avoid those mistakes in your games try to see if you are doing something similar and try to fix it besides i i believe that those who come on the show i find it uh, good they improve as players and uh, that's what the idea is Prajwal Singh says it's useful. Sachin, very helpful. Even if I'm not the patient. Okay, nice. Dev Marsha, these sessions are incredibly useful. Very nice to know. Uh, guys, the link of the Discord is in the description. Please join it. Hopefully, we can reach a lot of people and do some thing, some meaningful things through Discord, like Doctor Chess and some more things in future. Um, so please do join. uh did anyone go back on the doctor chess um uh, queue because i do see sometimes different names for example i did see last time i was seeing that someone like say was at the top say mega and then uh they go down i i believe it's like if you disconnect or you go outside the room then you go down okay so try avoiding to go out of the appointment lobby try to stay there
uh, yes i can see megha was there actually uh Yes, I think Savita also had a similar problem. I lost connection. Yeah, I think so. Um, let's see if we can get her into or him. I don't know who is he. But let's see if we can do one more. Hello? And, and I would I would request all of you to have better internet connections. And I also uh, request that if there are more, uh, this has always been my intention with Chess Base India, that more girls should play chess, should take up chess. So in case if someone uh, who would like to join here, some girls who would like to improve, please do join in and make sure uh, you, you take up this opportunity. I rejoined but the series ended mega i i think you are in the room right now if you can if you can talk but maybe you cannot right now you cannot right now hi sir yeah hello can you hear me yes can you switch on your camera yes sir yeah hello and yeah. and and switch off your uh, uh this uh, youtube yes mega tell us a bit about yourself where are you from sir i'm mega tell us a bit about yourself where are you from sir i'm from west bengal bakura okay do you, do you have the stream open somewhere? Sir, I'm yes. yeah, because it's uh, yeah. Now now you've closed it. Okay, very good. Uh, you you are from West Bengal. Yes. And how old are you? Uh, Twelve years old. Right Twelve. Now. Very nice. And uh, tell us a bit about yourself, about your chess. How how strong you are and how did you start playing? Actually, when I was almost six or seven, my uh, dad first taught me chess and then I started to get fascinated. And then my uh, dad realized that I can play chess and right now I'm practicing with him only. I'm no coach and I play daily online and <laughs> see your streams and videos and try to improve. And what's your rating, online rating right now? I play on leeches. There, my classical rating is almost 1800 and rapid rating is almost 1700. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice to know. And you, you will soon play tournaments and get a FIDE rating or you have one already? No, I don't have FIDE rating but I will start. Very nice. Very good to know. So how can I help you in chess? Is there something? Some questions? Yes, sir. I'm I have a problem. The, uh, I uh, haven't prepared my games, but I can um, tell you the moves if you can open a chess set and then okay. I could have told the moves. Let's do it. Then. Can you see the board? Yes. Okay, let's go. So, uh, okay. Actually, I, I have the problem of like uh, when I start playing, I am almost winning, and then I have the habit of blundering and losing the game. That's mm. why at, uh, at one point my classical rating was almost 1900, and now within a few months I'm decreased to 1800. And when I was 1900, I was uh, almost like in one month I increased uh, 1900 from 1700. Okay. Let's see your game and also I think this is a very common problem uh, Mega where uh, winning positions are you know not converted properly and this could happen because of many reasons one of them uh, some of them could be chess reasons some of them could be psychological psychological reasons include like you start thinking oh I'm winning 
you know that's great my opponent is 2000 rated this will be my first win against 2000 or you say i'm playing against an iam i can beat him you know all these thoughts when they start coming you stop focusing on the moves but start focusing on the result that is very bad the chess problem can be that you are nervous and you don't calculate moves calculation is a key element of converting winning positions so many times we think Hey, I was winning and I lost. It, it's something I'm unlucky or I'm not. But majority of the times, the reason is that you're not calculating properly. So if you improve your calculation, it's very likely that you will also improve your conversion. Yes. Sir. Okay, let's so can go I for please it. tell my moves? Yes. I'm white here. I played e, sorry, I'm black here. Uh, my opponent played e4. Okay. I went e5. Mm -hmm. Nf3. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hit f3. Nc6. Okay. Um, bishop c4. Right. Bishop c5. Okay. And d3. Okay. Knight f6. Yeah. Bishop g5. Mm -hmm. H6. Good. Bishop h4. Okay. Castles, knight c3. Aha, uh -huh. castling. This is okay. Knight c3. A6. A6. Yeah. Are, are you not afraid of knight d5 ideas? <laughs> yeah, actually, went knight d5. And I have, I have done this mistake and, uh, in several games, but I don't know how to avoid it. Can you please tell me? Okay, one thing. First of all, is that when the bishop is on h4, uh, like this, it's spinning, and you haven't castled, yeah. then it makes a lot of sense to push g5. You know, this could be not a bad idea. Like, you know, playing but this way. Actually, I have played this way, but the problem is that then I face some kinds of, you know, um, weakness in, around the kings and then... Yes, I agree, there could be a weakness, but generally you can play bishop e6, Queen d7, maybe long castle, maybe even short castle sometimes. Your king can be safe. The main thing is that you start making use of this uh, for your pieces, these things. So it's not a bad uh, idea to play g5. Also, because very interestingly, you haven't played d6 yet, you can drop back your bishop to e7. And, the, and you might say, oh, but I lost time, you know, I went to c5, now I have to come back. But his bishop is not so ideally placed on h4. It, it might just become a bad piece. Like if it has to go yeah. back. So, you know, uh, you, you shouldn't... What I have generally understood, and maybe this is my understanding, someone else can also uh, confirm as some strong player, is that if you haven't castled, then g5 is not a bad idea, okay, because then these sacrifices just don't work because you haven't castled. Uh, and secondly, when you don't play d6 and your bishop is still here, you can always drop it back. Yeah. So even here, after knight c3, a6, if he goes knight d5, you can go bishop e7, but then he will take your bishop. Okay, what did, what happened? After a6, he went knight d5. Hmm. I played b5. I played b5. Ooh, b5. I, I don't like this move, Mega. Because after knight takes f6, gf6, look at your king. Yeah, that's why I, I later played king h7 and I my idea was to play uh, rook g8, but I didn't get time to play. So. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I think that e, you can have these ideas, but it won't. you won't have time to do it. Okay, what happened then? After b5, 
uh, he went knight into f6 mm. g into f6 yeah and bishop d5 okay king h7 mm -hmm. uh, knight into e5 Aha. Oh, nice. Did you miss this? <laughs> yes, I missed. Really missed. I uh, Because I don't do such sacrifices and when my opponent does it, it comes like a shock. Why don't you do sacrifices? <laughs> my dad does always. He is like, <laughs> don't calculate and sacrifice and that's why a fear of sacrifice. <laughs> How, how strong is your dad as a player? He's not like so strong. His leeches rating is just 1300. Okay. So one, one thing which I, I will tell and this I have seen a lot everywhere and uh, maybe your dad can also watch this stream later is that there are two approaches. Okay. You take one approach as every game is very important that Every game you play must be played like, you know, with very great care and no blunders and nothing and, you know, no sacrifices. Just be careful about everything. The other approach is to try out things to be sort of, uh, you know, if in some positions there are sacrifices in the position, you do it. And then to learn from them, because whenever you make certain mistakes, you learn from them very quickly and then you improve as a player. Yeah. Now, what I see here in you is that you are very serious about chess. You want to improve. You want to keep improving. And so this attitude yeah. that you don't want to sacrifice, you want to play it safe is not the right one. You have to take risk. You have to sometimes uh, make sure that, oh, look at, by the way, this move is such a risky move by white because this cannot be taken. But he's taking here, like you can take here. He's going to pick this. His bishop could get trapped. So risk. Yes, I tried this idea, but later on I failed. So I can see the game. Okay, we'll see the game. Let's go. So did you play c6? I, w I was actually uh, thinking, Mega, uh, what if he had first taken on c6? Then d into c6. I didn't calculate this line, actually. Uh, and then I take saw here? this move, but I thought... Yeah, then I... Um, thought I would play queen e6. Queen e7. Queen d6, not queen d7. Queen d6, okay. okay. I was thinking that generally queen d4 is an interesting idea because you hit this and this. But the problem is with queen d4, this is defended already. So yeah. can you think of some tactical ideas here for black? Maybe bishop into f2 check. What is this move? I just take with the bishop. Then knight is falling. Very nice. And if king takes? Uh, then queen d4. Very good. It is gone. Calculate further. Calculate. Shouldn't give up the lines very quickly. Where will the king go after queen d4? Wherever it goes, uh, White's knight is falling. It's because yes, it's no but, longer a but, pin. But but then what next will happen? You know, you need to think a bit more, a bit more. Go deeper. After where will the king go? Because he will place king somewhere, right? It's not like yeah. after bishop f2, king f2 check, he'll be like, oh, mera king, I'll just keep it in the air somewhere. He'll play either to e2, f3, g3, g1. Uh, sorry, not g1. There's a check there. King f1, king e1. So you need to think, where will he go? If king g3 is played, then the king is so weak. After queen into, uh, you, you can go queen into e5. If I check, right. So, that comes so king g3 is out. Then where can he go else? King f1, then the rook is just like dead rook. Very nice. On h1. So you cannot do that, right. And if king e2, then also uh, bishop can, um, bishop uh, g4. No, but the knight bishop is there. Develop. The knight is there. It will take your bishop. Ah, yeah. Yes, yes, so yes. first then take on e5. Take, take on e5, then bishop g4. Yes. So so bishop f2, king f2, check, 
and now if king e2 then you can take and this is a big threat so you don't want to play king e2 yeah. so what else you uh, king e1 is left yes so so king you e1 see if one move uh, like the move which you considered that oh there are so many possibilities you could quickly come to king e1 might be the best option because of your calculation yeah, king e1 yeah king e1 then the king is also safe and rook f1 is coming yes so now calculate left. calculate further now what will you play uh, f into e5 right you have an you have an option whether you want to take with the pawn or the queen what would you take with if you capture with the queen then the pawns are still double and okay. uh, is it so bad to have doubled pawns and if you, uh, if pawns are doubled then both pawns are also isolated pawns that's why i don't want to keep so but uh, is it going to be like that forever no after f5 then it's yes and but king is on e5 and oh, e5 yes. will be opened up Beautiful. so so in a way can black stop your f5 next move after queen takes e5 <laughs> what happened? My grandpa was calling me. Okay, very nice. Because I'm sit I'm sitting here from six and watching your stream. That's why he's like Oh eat. He's like eat eat your food, huh? Yeah. Okay, nice. So queen e5, is there any way in which black can stop f5? But I would say that chess is very important in life, but not more important than food. Food is very important. <laughs> yeah, that is important. But uh, I love chess more than food actually. Okay. Well, good. Very nice. But uh, so, Mega, what, what would you take with the queen or with the pawn? Mm, taking the queen is also a good option, but then uh, d4 is not possible. d4 is falling, and with bishop is also falling. So, queen into e5 is also a good option, I think. Yeah, calculate queen into e5, queen takes e5. The problem is that your pawns are doubled and isolated, as you said. So he wants to play f5, right? Do you want to play f5? Does that work? <clears throat> f5, then he can't take with the pawn. It's pain. So f5 might be a good option, I think. f5, then I will take f e4, and then d So what will he play to, queen H, uh, to f5? So what we are calculating is queen takes e5 here. Rook f1. Maybe bishop g3, bishop g3 maybe? Instead of rook f1? Yes, possible. But then maybe you snatch another pawn. Why not? Yeah, that's also possible. So here maybe rook f1. Uh, what I was thinking is f5. And now I was a little bit concerned about queen h5. <coughs> yeah, yeah. I'm not sure what is happening, you know. And Mega, this is something which I want you to uh, incorporate in yourself here. Now calculate. If I take here, I lose the queen. So I can't yeah. take. But then, hey, look, this is a beautiful pawn. I can take and attack his rook. And but then, uh, if queen into f5, oh, sorry, queen into f5. Bishop is there, possible. yes, bishop is there. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's not so simple. It's not It's not trivial. What will, he, what will white do? Maybe, maybe white tries to go rook d1 to save his rook. Yeah. And now you have to assess who is in trouble. Is your king weaker or is his king weaker? I think my king is weak, weak but um, his pieces are, I think, uh, lone queen can't check it. Yes, your, your alone queen cannot do much so here. Both Sorry? Your queen alone can't do much here, right? So you have to figure out a way yeah. to, to get other pieces into the game. But you have to calculate these things. See, we started off somewhere here. Do you see? 
and we could and you yeah, could calculate yeah, yeah. you could calculate the only thing is that you don't do it one reason is that you are saying that hey uh, because i don't want to take risk but risk which is calculated is not always a risk it's a calculated risk so you must calculate okay let's go to the game he took uh, 95 then i i want 95 Yeah, 95, I like this decision. 95? I like this decision. Okay. And then uh, bishop into eight. Yeah. C six. Yeah. And he went d four. I blundered. Ah, yeah. This is a problem. Sure, sure. Yeah, yeah. And then I I took the pawn. Bishop into d four. But is it is it a Queen blunder? Is it a blunder? Calm down. Let's think. Let's think. Yeah, because uh, you can see in my games, if um, bishop went to d4, I went winning to d4, and then you need to play, uh, you need to move the d pawn first, and then develop your bishop, and then capture. After you move the d pawn, the c6 pawn is weak, and. No, I understand your point, but why you gave up a piece, right? Do we have yes, to give yeah. up a piece? Bishop d4 check, then c3 is coming. Still, you lose a piece. Okay, think more. Can we do something? Yes, Kimaya, you are right. Maybe Queen F5. No, think, think, think. LPDO, you know what LPDO is? <laughs> yeah, I know the full form, but I haven't applied it in my games yet. You see all the streams, yeah? You said. Yeah. So good idea is to apply what you learn from the streams. Come on, think. Which piece is loose for white? Bishop on h4. Can you attack it? Yeah, knight g6. Yeah, did you think of this move? No, I completely missed it. Wait, so this is something which you should have tried because then after take take This bishop is still boxed in. I know that your position is still bad because in order to win this, you may have to push the pawn when this would become weak. So it's like you need to first defend this, then you need to play. It's not simple, but it is definitely not over yeah. because this bishop is gone in a way. So uh, def this was a a good chance that you had, but you you took here. You took here, and now the the problem is you gave up one piece. Yeah. What happened next? I went d six. Hmm. And he went f four. F four. Yeah. Ah, and then this is hanging. And now. <laughs> yeah. I just completely messed up, and now I played knight g6, which is useless. Yeah, now this is hanging. And then he took. Is 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 just useless, and now he went bishop into f6, and I just <laughs> tried to, you know, make some progress still, and I went queen f5 check. Queen mm -hmm. f5 check, and he went queen c queen c3. B four. Did you win this game? No, no okay. I lost. Okay. I I have one game also. I now win D two. And now I just blundered with rook D eight, and later on I ah. resigned. Okay, you you lost this rook. Fine. Yeah. You know, uh, Mega. I find you to be very talented. I find you to be very quick. I find you that you are finding moves very uh, nicely. You have chess understanding, and definitely you are you are a good player. The only thing which I feel that you can improve upon at this point of time is your calculation and is your ability to. Be a little bit more bold, more brave on the board, because I see that from all the 
people let's say your rating is right now 1800 you said right on online then there are yeah. many players yeah. who cannot calculate as well as you at this rating so when your advantage is that you can calculate so well and you have this understanding you should make use of it if you don't make use of it then you won't improve so go into variations where you can calculate uh do you do you have you have you studied yeah. any chess books any chess uh, dvds have you done anything of that yeah which ones uh, i haven't i haven't bought dvds but i have uh, started the rsc of chess and um, complete end game course by silman very nice okay and have you seen the 21 22 episodes of improving chess that i did yeah. No, chess. not Doctor Chess. Improving, Improving chess. chess with Improving. Sagar. This was one year old. This was twenty-two episodes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I saw. You not twenty-two. It. I think I saw seventeen uh, or eighteen, something okay. like that. Okay. 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 So that's a good one. And I would, I would definitely want you to improve your calculation. So, uh, for uh, what else have you studied in chess apart from this? Sorry. Apart from these books, you said Silman's Endgame Course, which is a great book. Reassess your chess, which is a good book. What else have yeah. you studied? Have you done anything else? Yeah, I um, started studying uh, Bobby Fischer's sixty memorable games. Very good. And Botvinnik's hundred selected games. Okay. Very nice. And how do you study these games? I just uh, open the book and and open a chess set and just make the moves and study the ideas. Okay, okay. Can you can you do it this way once, uh, like a real? Have you played tournaments over the board tournaments? No, not yet. Ah, okay. So the thing is, over there you have to write down your moves. Do you know the notation score? There is a score sheet. You have to write down your yeah. moves and all of that. Yeah. Yeah. so maybe one game yeah i practice with my dad. when you are going to see let's say today fisher's game what you do is you try to be like bobby fisher okay you have a book next to you where you can write your moves and for every move that you play cover his moves his next moves and try to guess his moves what he plays and at the end of it see how many moves were same of yours and bobby fisher's write down what you want yeah to. i tried to do yeah i i tried that, that one time and then uh, 90% moves were wrong by my side it's very good it's very good try doing it first game 90% second game maybe 88 then 85 then slowly <laughs> by the game time you reach the 20th 30th game your accuracy will improve okay yeah i want I want you to, when you are looking at the game, to first think on your own and then look at his moves. You know, many times we read read books and books and books, but we don't make our brain work. We are like we see sixty games, we make the moves on the board, but then we haven't thought yet. We are just looking at the. It's good. It's not bad, but you could make make it even more effective by thinking. Yeah. Okay. And I have one. I have one prepared my winning games also. Would you like to see that? Okay, I'll do one more game. Yeah. Okay. What was the name of your opponent here? Leeches. It just uh, just shows an ID here. Okay, let me put your name only. ID was. Part. Okay, let's go next one. Here my uh, it was a rapid game. My rating was seventeen hundred. My uh, opponent's rating was fifteen hundred only. Okay. You are white. Uh, no, I'm black. Okay, let's go. You want knight f three? D five. E three. Knight f six. D four, knight c six. You played knight c six. Bishop d three. Yeah. Do you think it's a good move? Even 
at C6 and developing the knight, I think it's a good move. No, generally in even, such structures. Even knight, knight, knight e4 was also possible. Knight e4. Bishop g4 was also. Yeah. No, but and why Bishop do you G4. want to? Why do you want to move the same piece again? It's developed. Bishop g4. Yes, I like Bishop g4. It's a good move. But uh, Knight c6. The only problem with this is that it's developing a piece. However, it blocks the c pawn, and you really want to play c5. So maybe it's better to play c5 and then next move Knight c6. Yeah, I considered that c5 move, but I told my habit that I I. <laughs> I'm afraid of taking risks. But... No, but take risks. Will you take more risks yeah. from now onwards? Yes. Yeah, from now on. Yes, you must. And the thing is, if you take risks, you will become a better player faster. Yeah. Okay. Knight c6. And he went bishop d3. Mm-hmm. I think bishop b5 was better or bishop e2. Yeah, makes sense because now you can pin him. Did you do that? Oops. With the idea of e5. I, I directly went e5. Oh, you went directly? And blundered upon. <laughs> this is big yeah, risk. You tell, me, you tell me I don't yeah. take risk, but you took big risk. <laughs> okay. What happened next? Knight into e5. Mm -hmm. Knight into e5. Mm -hmm. D into e5. Mm -hmm. Knight d7. And he went uh, queen h5. Ooh, why? He could have just played f4. Yeah, I don't know why he went. Huh? He Sorry? could have played f4 and saved this pawn, right? And be a pawn up. Yeah. But he went queen h5. Yeah. Okay. And I went g6. Yeah, nice, nice. Queen f3. Okay, thank you. Did you take the pawn? Knight in d5. Very good. Yeah, knight in d5. Queen g3. Mm -hmm. uh, bishop d6. Okay, interesting move. Bishop d6. Like it. You are now threatening this. I would have thought that you played g6. You can put your bishop here. Uh, but. I think you were attracted by the fact that there is a chance to win the queen. Yeah, there is a chance and uh, knight into d3 is also coming. Yes, I, can, I mean it's not easy. Yeah, where to move the queen? Right. Okay, f4 maybe he has to play. Yeah, he played f4. Yeah, that, that seemed like the only move. Did you take on d3? Then, yeah. Take. But I think... Uh, Knight into d3 is um, I think best. Otherwise, knight c5 was coming. Knight c4, you mean? I won't. Sorry, yes, yeah, knight c4. No, but knight d3 is good. C d3. Yeah, you can CD3. tell your grandfather yeah, that you are in Dr. Chess. <laughs> okay, can I please go and tell, me, yeah. tell him? Yeah, please do. Very, very impressive. She, I like the fact that she's so much, she loves chess so much. Yeah, I told him. Mm. <laughs> and uh, after D into, you said C into D3, uh, I went Bishop B7. Checking the pin and he blundered with knight d2. What did you? Oh, you. Ah, this, this. Okay, one thing. I see another uh, small thing in you. Okay. One is that you love to play for traps. If you see a <laughs> trap, you're like, oh, look, this is so nice. My bishop can go here and I can just pin this. And then when you play with a bad player, he will play knight d2 and you'll be like, wow, you, I won so quickly. When you'll play with a good player, he will go castle and you'll be like, why did I move my bishop? It was already developed. 
so you see you have to think that your opponent is a good player and make your moves yes bishop e7 and knight d2 yeah yeah i i don't know if you were um, offline but you can listen to this again yeah, later that's okay. yeah the thing is don't play for little traps in the position look for the best moves for your opponent if he would have castled can, your... can you hear me sorry hello can you hear me yeah i can hear you but i don't think you can hear me hello yeah can you can you hear me yeah my discord just my internet crashed sorry for that now can you hear me yeah yeah okay. i can hear I'm you i'm saying one. don't play for little traps when you play a good player he will look through those traps like this is coming and he'll castle and then your bishop which was already developed you you spent a move playing it so the thing is but then but after castles if uh, bishop f6 and bishop g7 and castles then yes but then you are losing time time means something in chess you are spending two moves yeah. so here why not just castle and if he castles or why not play bishop f5 where you develop a piece and hit a pawn uh, that... so when you play for traps it it is like short term you may win a one or two games but long term you are creating a lot of damage by by you know uh, hoping that your opponent will play bad moves yeah you should always Actually, consider my opponent... good moves for your opponent okay yeah that's that's right player um, i think some better players than i i i think i wouldn't have played bishop e7 it doesn't matter bishop whom you play if you play me if you play with it if you play a super gm if you play magnus carlsen or even if you play a 1200 rated player or a unrated player a good move in a position if bishop f5 is the best move here it will be played against everyone it has to be played yeah okay you cannot say ha ye he looks like a weak player let me trap him <laughs> okay yeah i actually i don't play such moves here um, but when my dad is like playing with me online chess he's like khel do ye okay Be, uh, i i want to uh, maybe at some point your dad has to uh, you know he give you proper right uh, advice but uh, i also think everything that you are doing wrong you tell my dad told me my dad told me <laughs> <laughs> so he, so he'll be not too hard on him but uh, <laughs> sorry of course i'm not a great player but i i do mistakes i do blunders of course no. but <laughs> no that's true but I, i what i want to say is that what you have been doing until now is what you have learned and you are in a good position at the age of 12 you are playing chess very well but there are these little things if you fix them that is taking risks but taking calculated risks not just risk just like that secondly not putting small traps just for the sake of it if there was no way in which he could have stopped bishop h4 here i would have said great move but he can just do it with castles so your move becomes not so great yeah okay but i think after bishop h4 i um, i won the queen but still i did some mistakes okay we we don't need to see that game because you already won the queen it's just a piece so yeah we'll, yeah. we'll leave it at that but mega can you write a mail to me on chessbaseindia@gmail.com uh maybe i can recommend you if there is some other things just write to me and also continue working on chess uh continue working on chess well and uh, 
make sure that you fix all the mistakes that we have spoken about today. Yeah, of course. Thank okay. you. Okay. Okay. Take care and good luck to you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Okay, very nice, very interesting. Uh, I do hope that Mega goes on to become a very strong chess player. I see the intent in her. I see the fire. I also like the fact that her father is interested in chess and that she's continuing to learn. Maybe she might. Uh, she did remind me a bit of uh, Padmini Raut, you know, who has been four time Indian national champion. Uh, the way she spoke, her hairstyle and all, its it was similar to Little Padmi. But, um, okay. So, let's end this stream right now. And uh, thank you all for joining. And uh, we'll be there again with Dr. Chess tomorrow at 7. All those who couldn't join, um, all those who couldn't join, we will uh, make sure that uh, it happens in the next four days. And look at this, Chess Fabregas, Keith Mascarenas has sent $50 for Mega for some books and DVDs. Smart kid. Uh, amazing. Thanks. Thanks, Keith. I would send her, I was thinking on my own, uh, to send her some books of Yako Bagard. Um, maybe this will be useful for her very kind of you very great gesture and this is the most amazing thing about this community that um, when someone spots a talent they're like let's support them and uh, it's it's amazing so thank you so much for this Keith okay guys see you then bye bye and do like the stream do subscribe to Chessbiz India. I know there are not many people here, but in case you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe to Chessbiz India and join the Discord. Yeah.